Hello. Welcome to Reaper Errant on Reaper Miniatures. Uh, this is the Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition game. Hello out there. I see a couple people, so uh, um, welcome. We, uh, I, you'd, I'd like to say that we're going to take a nice, pleasant break after that almost TPK last week, but who knows what we have in store this week. Gene wants to be noticed. Can someone please notice Gene? <laughs> <laughs> I was just ignoring the whole. But, yeah. you know. He's, he he has a whole lot of love. A yep. whole lot. <laughs> That's how you can tell that Frank is an experienced DM. <laughs> <laughs> He's ongoing. He just ignores. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my eyes down. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good practice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think they did great clearing out the trolls, so I don't know if we'll have any more trolls today. But good job, everyone. You all survived. And uh, they all leveled up, and they've all had their long rest. There's a special guest, though. <laughs> oh, we had a long rest. Yes, you definitely oh, had a long rest. Oh, definitely need that. I better plug shoes. that in. There is a special guest that's larger now than Michael. She's <laughs> 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 The feet yeah. are still so sloppy, though. Mm. Oh. Yes. Only more to when go. When do they solidify? How old does she have to be? I don't think they're going to solidify. I think they'll always be flexible. But they're very large. Jenny solidify? Uh, <laughs> Rhonda, what is your concept of dogs? <laughs> exactly. They turn into statues as they get older. a lot of <laughs> dogs in my life. They never turned into stone or anything. Yeah. Her experience is hellhounds. Come on, give her a break. <laughs> yes. That's true. I'm a cat person. They never oh. solidify. No, they don't. Uh, they don't. Well, you never know. Hellhounds may also have floppy paws, but who's going to pick them up to check? Yeah. But... Uh, Fathom might. Ron, Rhonda's parents yeah. told her her dog just turned Fathom to stone might. one day and went out and bought a statue of it after. <laughs> Put it in their front yard. Oh, no, going, it's solidified. Everything's of, fine. It's solid going now. To the farm. It's a solid dog. Yeah. Yeah. He went to live on a farm like everybody uh, else's childhood dog did. So. <laughs> Uh, and I totally felt what? that too. Getting at you mean that farm thing wasn't real? Um, oh, no, let's I not ruin it for anybody it out. out there that might have had some farm visits. Oh, um, sad. <laughs> so we uh, we will kick off with a new thing. However, I'll let everybody introduce themselves and their player characters. And if they did take anything interesting when they went up a level, maybe this is a good time to share it. Um, oh. Uh, I don't know. It's up to you, I guess. But we'll start with um, Bobby. All right. Uh, I'm Bobby Jackson. I play the mighty and indomitable Pujol, the gnome bard, armed with his trusty warsham and positive mental attitude. He is now <laughs> level six. And uh, since he is a nature boy, I... Um, gave him speak with plants, so he will be able to hold converse with the vegetation as we adventure. Uh, hello, and Fern. Also, hello, Fern. <laughs> hello, <laughs> Daisy. Conversations. Hello, Dandelion. Um, my, uh, uh, a heads up, my bride, my she who must be obeyed, has been out of town visiting her father for a few days, and she's due back any moment, so... I may have to leap up and get me some sugar if she shows up. Okay, you got you got your place cleaned up and everything, though. Just turn off your oh, mind. Yes. Everything all cleaned up. You hit all the stuff. Yes, everything is ready to roll. Do She's, mushrooms right. count as plants? What? For the purpose, for do mushrooms count as plants for the purpose of your spell? I guess they do. Speak with fungus. Plants. Yeah, you know, I, I think I think I I I'd say yes. No in case. Mushrooms are monotremes. They lay eggs like platypus do. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh, or God. maybe maybe they lay elves. I don't know. I they, they definitely lay elves. <laughs> um Gene. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't think I could follow that one. Right no. <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Gene Van Horn. I'll be playing Gooseneck, the uh, lizard folk barbarian. And uh, 
Uh, I got uh, lightning, defense against lightning. So no zapping this lizard, no lightning for this lizard. It, it, it protects me from my little carpet shock when I zap people with my aura. So. Okay, cool. That could be very handy. Uh, Jason. I'm Jason Weeby. I'm playing Corncob Thunder Bludgeon, the dwarf cleric. And I have unstoppable lightning, surprisingly enough, and I think that overrides Gene's uh, invulnerability to lightning. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> so, you can't shock me. I have questions. <laughs> it wow. looks like I can. It looks like now I can completely blow up undead, which is nice. And that's wow. And uh, I can I can stop people from taking damage from things like thunder and and lightning and fire and that kind of stuff, or I can help them resist it anyway. Very cool. Should be. Else. Hope so. <laughs> Michael. Hi, I'm Michael, and I'm playing Abran, the Wood Elf, the more mighty and totally abdominable Wood Elf Ranger with a um, less than positive mental attitude. <laughs> and I didn't really get a big Ooh. boon from my level six. I, th I, I got to pick another favorite enemy, and I chose Giant since we seem to be running oh. You're not really a spell user, other than a few specific ones. Yeah, kind of hurts but, my feelings that you didn't choose gnomes. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um, I bet you got some nice juicy hit points. Yeah, I got some good hit points out of it too. Which is yeah, funny. that can be handy as well. Yeah, uh, Rhonda. I'm Rhonda Bender, and I play Fathom the magic user of uh, questionable bargaining ability, I guess. <laughs> and I learned, uh, I decided I didn't want to talk with plants. I wanted to talk with sentient creatures that were already talking, but that I didn't understand their language. Or I can help someone else talk. It doesn't have to be me that does the talking. Oh, cool. But also I feel marginally more lucky every great once in a while. Oh, I like that. I get to add a dice roll to uh, an ability check or saving throw every short or long rest. Short rest, I guess. It does say short rest. Oh, wow. That, that will come definitely come in handy. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. But that's not a, an attack roll, right? An ability check yeah. is like when I'm trying to cross rivers. So it is going to come in handy. Yeah. Because we all know that. Oh. <laughs> no more falling in the river for you. <laughs> So when now, we try to get on the boat later, I should be able to actually manage it after a couple of tries. Now I have to add two rivers every game. <laughs> <laughs> full, full of undead. <laughs> yeah, I guess that did happen. Um, Jen. I'm Jen. I play Kay Nimblewit, a human rogue, who I'm pretty sure spent the last session back at the bandit camp renting out tents to travelers. That, that's that's pretty tents? reasonable. Yeah, Renting like out safe tents? yeah, remember the bandits had like three or four oh. tents back there? Yeah, I thought you said pants, and I was wondering if you were renting out my otter pants. <laughs> you, I'm you, if you left them behind, you never know. They're made, they're made to fit just me, so I, that would, I'd be mad if someone's making money off them. <laughs> well, they are a custom fit almost. I uh, um, also remind everybody that they got a potion of supreme healing and someone got a wind fan as a magic item last time. I currently well. have the wind fan, but if someone else feels they need to deal with their wind. It was um, <laughs> also a lot of uh, gems, but um, uh, that's not yeah, we got that's a, interesting. So many beautiful gems. Yeah, I wrote it we down got somewhere. A ton huh? of gems. Nine gems worth 1,000 each. Yeah. A lot. You you could you could say you're rich. Uh, most Woo. most people in a town would think so. Well, after five trolls, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. one dire and a, troll, and a five-headed troll. Yeah, six no, that thing gets to, to us. Yeah. Eight-headed seemed fair, right? Well, yeah, I suppose weird, if, weird if money could ever if money could ever compensate for the horror of a mutant troll attack. Probably not. I don't know if it could. <laughs> you, yeah. Your Honor, my my client had significant pain and suffering. <laughs> well, what was mental scarring from the mutantness of it all? That that could be true. Yeah, I will say though, uh, you get to relax a little bit because uh, you have finally come in, 
So as you continue on over the bridge down towards the town, you realize that it is uh, large enough of a town that you reach a town first, basically, before, before the big one. It's like on the outskirts, but you might say it's uh, big enough. There's a sign that says um, the, the name is called uh, Breakwater Keep. Is the name of the town, but they, uh, the keep was in small letters, so it might just be called Breakwater. You're not sure, for sh positively. But as you come into town, you, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I'm sorry. I apologize. I have to say thank you to Justin, our technical director, who's back there behind the scenes. Um, I forgot to do my introduction. Uh, that's because you guys are all great. And thank you to Sirenscape, who will have um, background and ambient music you will hear during this game. I have to say that. I, 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 I would also like to say that. So, you approach a town, and you get in, you kind of hear the central area of it, almost like um, it's thrumming. There are people about doing real activities. You haven't seen this many people for a while. And you know you're not even in the main town yet. Um, you're just kind of in a, an outskirts sort of town. Hmm. Well, I would like to remind Abran and anyone else who used arrows or bolts to get more arrows and bolts. I'd like to stock up, please. Okay. You Are we going to pay the resort town bump, though? I mean... <laughs> Would they be cheaper on the bad side of town? Um, well, I only buy the best arrows. You don't. Won't we need them before true. we get to the bad side of town? Yes. yes. <laughs> you, you you might need them in the bad side of town, right? Um, exactly. Oh, I I got a brace of of atomic pistols. <laughs> you find that this town has uh, an active market square today. So this must be market day. You're in luck. Uh, they do have goods and wares in the market. Um, you can see there are people with vegetables and fruit and fish, lots of fish here. But there's someone, uh, there's kind of a little group around some ale, um, uh, enjoying that. And lots of laden down carts with other goods that people are kind of trekking back and forth to. Uh, so it's it's busy and people are walking about and doing their thing, but it looks like you could get uh, uh, restocked here on a lot of common items uh, and find information if you need it. <clears throat> oh, oil! We need oil. Uh, oh, good point. Especially we through all our oil. <laughs> we need the flammable kind of oil, not necessarily torch oil, but the kind that is more explosive, I think, or more more ignitable. As opposed to Goose grease? Lube or what? No, well, I, use goose grease. I use my goose no, grease too. When we started out, we bought some special oil that was uh, that was more likely to start easily on fire rather than oh. burn longer like a torch oil would okay. or lamp oil would. Sorry. Yeah. So how would you like to approach the town? Right now you just see a guard. Uh, uh, well, you would assume a guard. Uh, there's a couple dressed the same just kind of scattered about, um, watching people, um, looking at you as you, um, as you well, well, checking out your weapons. Yeah, you, you are not common townsfolk. You are obviously heavily armed uh, yes. travelers. I'm not heavily armed. We're bristling with weapons and spells. They better back off. Mm. <laughs> I don't think so. for initiative. You said there was a little, uh, you said there was a little, Stall uh, bar. Yeah, can we go to the oil stall. merchant? Yeah, there's a there's a bar, and you could find somebody certainly in here uh, that's got some oil. They could go back to their wagon for. Let me move you to where you might be. Gosh, I made the mistake of putting you right in the center of the table. I got. I can't get to you. The table's too big. Um. All right. You need one of those uh, croupier sticks. I, yeah. I have a croupier <laughs> stick. 
Is that what those are called? Yes, that I is. I never knew the called. name of them. And I, I, have I just made it up. I hope that was correct. You did not just make that up. You <laughs> well, that, sly. That's, that's the word that like, came into my head when I thought about it. Let's put it that way. Like they, like what they use in Baccarat or... Uh, yes. Yeah, for beer stick. Yeah. Um, I so, didn't know that. Uh, Kay and um, Pugil, are you kind of going off in, in there as well? Into the open market, or yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna stick with the party. Okay. I think we should stick with yeah, especially if the guards are giving us the eye. Well, they you seem the... to be looking at us more than the average person. Yes, they do. Um, right. Well, we, we obviously are carrying a... lots of gems, so there's footpads and thieves and... all over this place. I think we should grab an ale and ask ask where where the good place to get. Uh, Oil and goose grease is. <laughs> yeah, goose that'd be goose great. Is a cooking supply, isn't it? That won't raise any suspicion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, as you ask around, you are you you find that there's not an abundance of goose grease. There is some whale oil. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, Frank. Uh, okay. There is some whale oil, and um, there is also the the more flammable uh, sort of oil that you're looking for. That's that's not really for putting in torches and lanterns. Um, it's that other okay. kind for burning. Yeah, it's for burning. Yeah. Oh, burning oil. Burning so oil. Let's all buy Ign ignition oil. Oh. Yeah. Let's I get a flask of. Do we recall get... our instructions for how to drop off the orb? Like where we're supposed to go? Uh, yeah. That's your that's your that's what you're supposed we're to we're headed to about. a sh we're headed to the port for some ship. We're headed to the city mm -hmm. and then we have a lead on a ship we could get on, but that is separate from the it is. passing the orb on. It is. So um that is you would know, uh, obviously. Uh, not necess I don't remember if Everybody else would know, but Fathom for sure, you would know that um, it was in this town, in this, in Breakwater, not in the, in the little port, town, okay. in the little town, where uh, it was, um, little. that that drop-off was going. Yeah, this is the largest town you've been into, and this is the yeah. little town, <laughs> uh, uh, where that drop-off was going to occur, but... Um, I don't think the parameters were really clear around who you were going to meet necessarily. I think it was a little bit rely on this dagger parameters kind of thing. Okay. Well, um, and I guess I need to kind of go to the corner of a building in the shadows and surreptitiously check out what my dagger is doing today. <laughs> okay. That's what she said. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, didn't read chat. Um, it is sort of, it's almost like it's not directional at the moment. It's, um, I mean, if a dagger could be listless, that is what it appears to be. Um, make a, a listless uh, dagger. <laughs> make yeah. an insight. That's the, that's, a, that's a fear of all of us to have a listless dagger. <laughs> Good thing we don't have TV. It'd be on all the Oh, my gosh. That frightens me. Never mind. <laughs> uh, make an insight check or an arcana check. I'll let you decide uh, to, to figure out what that means. My arcana check is nine. Okay. You're not sure. Uh, usually, this point's unerringly to wherever you have to go or next or it has uh, done that um, but it, the fact that it's not doing that either the magic isn't working or uh, the person you're not not the person or place you're supposed to drop this off isn't available for you yet maybe you have to just spend a little time yeah I'll assume conditions clear. haven't been met and try to keep an eye on it okay but surreptitiously, I don't want everybody to see me. Right, right. Well, uh, looking like I'm using a dagger. Let's let's see how surreptitious that is. Make a stealth check from around that corner as you're 
Fifteen. They're gonna catch uh, you for checking your dagger in public. <laughs> yeah. If 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 That's uh, a minimum fine for if that. If I'm a if I'm aware and of you what get on a doing, list. If if Pujol is aware of what she's doing, he will um, charmingly twiddle his sham and frolic about to attract attention away from her. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't. I as far as I know, Fathom doesn't hide anything she's doing from the rest of the party. So um, when you no, see I her don't. duck off, she's yeah. probably going to check that dagger. So absolutely, make a performance check. Uh, 19. Oh, yeah. No, 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 19. So, Pujol... Am I you're going to get nine. people throwing money into your hat, Pujol. Funeral dirt yeah. for the ages. Yeah, so I'm... Yeah, you got yakety sacks all up and down the street. <laughs> Maybe El Legarto can mime. <laughs> Same time. <laughs> I assumed El Garto was distracted by the chicken that must surely be available here. There's certainly yeah. chickens running around here. Um, so I'm going to frisk mind. about. Audience imagines a chicken. I will charmingly frisk about and tootle my shawm. Okay, uh, you uh, wow. you perform well enough that you do actually get. Uh, this is a family show. Uh, <laughs> seven, is it? That seems like a terrible mistake. Seven coppers Look. thrown at your feet. That's oh, two there you penis go. Penis jokes from you, Proctor. Good job. One more, you've right? reached your quota. Penis <laughs> jokes. One more, you're over your quota. <laughs> How many cloaca you, jokes you did mi- you get? You missed. Oh. You missed the headline. You got Unlimited. seven copper pieces thrown at you. That's how good a Sean player you are. Seven yeah. copper. Oh. Write that down. I mean, that's. You don't need any of those gems. You you're you're on your way to a silver copper. piece, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that does kind of stink. Nobody appreciates. Nobody appreciates a bard. I mean, look, no, no. That's, that's like what five minutes of busking. Have? What do you want? I know. Well, maybe <laughs> you know, maybe a sham isn't as attractive as a lute or something. I don't know. No, I'm way attractive. I'm way attractive. Uh, no, um, but obviously these are. This is a lute crowd. You're in a lute crowd. You're not in a sham yeah. crowd. Just keep telling I mean, yourself look, that. Throw I'm trying to be supportive. Now the dwarf and prime the pump. All hey, right, Pucho. I think, Pucho. I think you handled your shaman very deftly. Yeah, that's yeah. that's three. Absolutely. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will say it's probably a sea shanty town, to be honest. Yeah. Being so close yeah. to the port. Oh, <laughs> you should have brought a squeeze box. So yakety sax is like not going to go away. Uh, you get sea shanties all the time. Yeah, good point. So uh, it doesn't take you long to pick up what you need. You can easily get uh, the replacements. Uh, whale instead of goose grease. Uh, the flammable oh. oil. Uh, whale also, the whale oil also burns in torches and lanterns and things as well. Uh, but it's not one of those easily lit, exploding, flow all over the there- place and light somebody on fire, uh, which you can get separately. All of that will set you back like 10 gold total. Uh, well, the expensive wow, part is actually a... the flammable oil. The whale oil is not expensive. Most things okay. are not expensive, but the stuff that explodes, well, not explodes on impact, but easily lights someone else on fire is costly. Well, by How the number of, of enemies we've, 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 we've had to reduce to ashes on the way in, I think we, sh- we still need this stuff, uh, even though it's expensive. Frank, she who must be obeyed has just arrived. I'll be right back. All right. Bye, Bobby. Uh, how much of uh, the flammable oil do we have amongst us? We'll say uh, uh, one flask each. Good idea. So keep it simple. Um, um, by any chance, are there any uh, um, magic magic shops, magic user, anybody selling any magic elements, potions? Hmm. So, uh, yeah, as you ask about that a little bit, uh, you, you're, mm, so you look around, you see a well-dressed sort of, uh, looks like a money lender almost, 
you see what looks like a baker. She's got some uh, bread on a tray she's moving about. And uh, you see what looks, I, I don't know if this person is selling the ale. I mean, the ale seems to be free to people. It's like, a, come up and pour yourself a mug. But uh, he looks very enthusiastic and is sitting there uh, coveting the ale barrel and drinking it. And then you have the vegetable and fish merchant and guards. Who amongst those would you ask? I would ask the ale merchant. <laughs> hey, you know, do you, is there anybody that sells um, any sort of magical components or magical items? Anybody you know of that's... I, well, of course there is. Yes. Over there, there's a tower. Where's the old keep? You can find them there. Uh... Uh, Sheris is her name. Sheris, okay. Green ale Thank you, sir. I'll good. give him a couple coppers for his trouble. All right. I right, thank you. Have a, have have yourself a pour. Uh, it's free to the town market today. Ah, I will. How can you afford to just give away your fine ale? Ha! Well, I don't just give away. It's like Yay. a sample, you see. Yay. Everybody that comes and gets it wants to purchase it, and then you have to buy a barrel. Uh, so There's not a right windowless. Problem. There's not a windowless white wagon parked nearby, is there? <laughs> Free ale, uh, painted padly on the side. Um, <laughs> no, there is not. Uh, there is a wagon. Near, there are several wagons nearby, but they're all parked in the, uh, sort of a. Uh, let's see if I can get a shot. I, I'm almost sure, Justin, that I can get a shot uh, of the wagons. They are laden down with all kinds of goodies. Uh, but it seems like there's a common area where everybody's supposed to park for their goods and such. And so over there... Well, you look at that. You, wow. You see when, you know, there are some stalls, but honestly, it's more like people milling about kind of flagging someone down and if um, if if they strike a deal they run over and grab a grab something off of their own carts there's a few carts more than what's shown and so you see one that's got ale casks of ale on it and stuff as well mm. so it's not a little white van uh, but he does say if you like the wares then of course you can buy either a full cask or a small cask if you'd rather if you want something portable yeah, I'm just watching Juice Neck. I'm suspicious of this free ale. Well, uh, you know, it's worth it. I make lots of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if our lizard man falls asleep and gets rolled yeah. in the alley. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully my defenses uh, <laughs> are more than just lightning. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we'll... I'll, I'll thank him for the information and say uh, we'll, uh, we'll we might have to get some more later. We'll we'll come back later. So uh, I would like sure to go to the uh, I would like to go to the um, old keep and find this sheriff's person. Okay, no problem at all. Would we uh, all like to go? That sounds like a. Everybody else want to come? Yes. The, uh, sure. The I'll use go. of our gems. But yeah. I do want to know why Joe hasn't talked to any of these flowers or shrubs or anything that are very lovely in the town square. <laughs> there are lovely towers and shrubs in the town square. That much is true. How come you haven't summoned any demons yet? We don't. You don't. We don't need to walk around flashing our talents like that. <laughs> I didn't pick demon summoning. Thank you very much. Oh, I don't always have to be on the nose. Just wow. mostly. Wow. Okay. Um. All right, let's 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 let me get you a vision of this and get you over to the uh, the magic shop. Uh, so who all is going to the magic shop? It sounded like well, I will. Okay, it sounds interesting. Magic shop. Let's, let's, let's go magic okay, shop. Okay, everybody, I get everybody. Everybody's going to the magic shop. I've seen I heard they had a special on rings of fireballs <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gooseneck. Forty percent off. Probably leading the way. Oh, am I knocking over buildings? I sure am. Oh well. I'm gonna have to take some of this stuff out of here to fit all of you in, but that's okay. We'll do that. It looks a little more barren than it is because you're all in here. But when you walk in, 
Uh, it is definitely a shop, although perhaps not uh, exactly what you'd expect since it was an old keep. It doesn't look like a, I don't know, you kind of expect a magic shop to have some strange magic. accoutrements or, or things or, in jars. Yeah, things in jars, but it doesn't. There's some racks, some displays of items, uh, and then um, Sh apparently Sheris is her name behind a desk looking extremely bored when you walk in. <laughs> looks up <laughs> at you, takes one look, and uh, roll insight check. Bored no more. Bored no more. <laughs> bored no more. <laughs> Party's here now. Ugh. What cost I got a seven. Gold. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. I... I I got an eight. At least I beat the lizard. <laughs> I got a. I'm not very insightful today. <laughs> it's that 13. ale. Thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen. All right, that's good. Uh, Abraham. Oh, wait a minute. Seventeen. A? I'm sorry. Yeah. I got a seventeen. I forgot my bonuses. I had a five. Okay. Oh no, my is it 15. passive or regular? Uh, no. This would be a a regular check. But to be fair. Well, this is insight, so so okay. it's not not perception. Um, although but there is a passive insight. Yeah, there is a passive. Yeah. Insight. Right. right. I get a plus on my regular insight, and I get just a regular fourteen on my passive insight. What I would say. Oh no, is... never mind. I don't have passive insight. I was wrong. Sorry. Okay. I was thinking it was okay. Seventeen would... for me then. Okay. Yeah, you can't get below your passive insight on this. Oh, so I have a 12. Oh, then I got an 11. Okay. I yeah, have a 14. Haha. -ha. Usual. No. I am, oh. dang it. I am more than oh, beat the lizard. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is it Didn't beat the lizard. Um, uh, that's a great question. And, is it um, something? Right. Yes. It is. Oh, from she is a tiefling. Um, yeah. She looks. Well, I'll give her the. Secret handshake and whatnot. Okay. She nods. And uh, she she recognizes travelers, adventurers when she sees them. And uh, as opposed to giving out charms to ward off spirits at your door at night and to make crops grow better and to make the fish come in, she's... You can tell uh, everybody with 15 and higher. Well, everybody with 10 and higher can tell that she perks up. She's happy to see you. Everybody with 15 see? and higher, she, uh, she, you can tell that she's uh, almost excited that she's going to make a sale on something worthwhile. She recognizes <laughs> a bunch of fat sheep that are ready to be fleeced. Big money. Big money. She found some people to yeah. fleece. Yeah. Got yeah. No, that Dripping she found... with gems and we want to buy. She found some people <laughs> that probably have real coin and are interested in higher value items that you just can't sell. It doesn't matter how important they are uh, to That's most true. people. So she's, she just perks up and goes, oh, oh thank you. Uh, what can I help you with today? Magical shawms. Well, Sherris, you're, uh, you're, uh, we were directed to you by the uh, ale, uh, ale merchant, and uh, I have uh, an ability to use a little bit of lightning, uh, and I was, I was wondering if you had something that could enhance that, make it more damaging or more powerful. Some sort of amulet or hmm. something, I don't know. Something to enhance your natural abilities. That's, that's very specific. Uh, lightning, that's a tough element. I might Hold your something. tongue, Michael. <laughs> I've used up my three. So I that's right. A lot already. <laughs> you can joke on other topics. That's four. Other topics. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I might have some items that could help you. Uh, but before I go back to look around other things, is there anything the rest of you might be interested in as well? I, I have a selection of items I could bring out. I would like a magic bow. 
a magic sword or a ring of fireballs. All those three. I'm one not of, sure who should be trusted with the ring of fireballs. Mm. <laughs> a man who knows what he wants. Excellent. Yes. Uh, I do I have could also a, use some better armor. a bow uh, that came in recently. You might enjoy it. Uh, it's of elven design, even. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Tell me more. Well, I will go and get it. But um, armor. Did you say armor? And she looks at you. Yeah. Again. Who did you? Well, who were you talking about, Rhonda? Um. What? Did she say something about armor? I did. I oh. said that you, oh. Gooseneck, could use some better armor. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. I would Gooseneck be more could definitely use some better armor. I could. Armor. Yeah. You look Maybe like a magic trinket for armor. I. I yeah, you I, look like you I, could use a cockatrice egg. A cockatrice egg. Interesting. Yeah, we do have some magical stuff to sell, don't we? Didn't we? Uh, uh, I have something. I have we something. have thrim. What, what did I have? Do we have thrim? Remoraz. We have a, a cockatrice yeah, egg. Do. I thought we had plates or scales or claws or something. Remoraz. No, we have an egg. Spinal disc. Hey, what yeah, that's that's Some what I was box. thinking. You uh, you have uh, a few vials of the fire. Bits of the remoras and some. Oh, that's right. The, but yeah, the, the blood was the important part from that. Blood. Yeah, that's okay. right. And uh, I, you have uh, was it just one cockatrice egg? Was it? Well, we kept the cockatrices too, uh, didn't we? Yeah, we only got we only got one egg because the snake ate we the other two. That's right. One egg. Yeah. yeah. We, you got the. But beef. we got some of the gland. Fluid from the cockatrices. Yep. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh well. This... And we've got pistols. We've got pistols. <laughs> uh, we're not selling the pistols. <laughs> we're not Those we also... that... And maybe we could trade the trade the pistols for a whole stash of stuff. No, I don't think we want to trade the pistols. <laughs> Those are irreplaceable, one of a kind. Until yeah. the next RVE. <laughs> they're, they're made for when magic magic people use lose their spells. I mean, you always got to have a pistol. They are, yeah, they're a little like spells and for non magic. Um, Remind me what the little trinket box or something that I had that, that I didn't get a good enough deal from the guy on the road. What was that? Does anybody uh, remember? We got to start getting better at writing stuff down. Clearly, I, I know trinket I, I box. Forgot. Yeah. Oh, it was Last a little time gears. There was there was treasure, you guys no, it was like tools. tools from, oh. Yeah, we have the we have oh, the, the uh, sci-fi tools. Yeah, tools. yeah the sci-fi tools. I'll we'll sell those. Yeah, it was like the little repair kit. Yeah, that's thing. What Which makes our tools plus. Yeah. So yeah, uh, super magic. So we have requests um, for armor for Goose Neck. I also have... We have magic bow. Uh, mm -hmm. We have um, something to enhance your lightning. Anything else? Mm -hmm. I would like a shawm of uh, elf bane. That is <laughs> elf bane. Wow. No. I actually wouldn't. I wouldn't mind some magic armor myself. Actually, that, that wouldn't be bad. Okay. I, I have a I have a a bracelet that turns children into rats. Ooh. That's well, don't do. sell that. Someone that's, might use it. That's a no. yeah. A, a specifically suspicious item, sir. Yeah. 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 Well, we got it. I got it from the dead corpse of a specifically suspicious. <laughs> uh, well, then, okay. Uh, I don't. I, I some of this I would like. Um, uh, I, I do have to resell this stuff. Uh, I'm not sure a uh, amulet that turns children into rats would go into the right hands. <laughs> uh, so perhaps that's You've not, not met all the children I've met. <laughs> I, I, I was confused wow. where it points these days. I thought it turned rats into children, or, so I'm just totally wrong. <laughs> uh, so she is. Hold on a moment. Uh, take a look around. If you want, if you. Oh wait. Well, any other items before I go back? Uh, in. Magic armor, magic battle axe, magic uh, war hammer would be interesting. I'm intrigued by curiosities, but I'm not 
the specific as some people with the yeah. exact shawm that they want. Like, if you have a shawm at all in here, I'm going to consider that a win. <laughs> how about something? Uh, how about something to swim better or to breathe underwater? That would be a might be an interesting boon oh, in the future. They go fast in these towns, but I do have. One I know they ring, do. That's why I left. asked. I have a ring left that well, might I, interest you as well. Yes. I'd be interested in that. Okay. Um, I mean, I have some otter pants, so I would think it's a natural. <laughs> uh, and they're lovely, lovely pants. And we'll be throwing they you are. in the water. Think how, think how much they feet. look good when they're wet. Very sleek, oh, wow. shiny. I let, I let that one go, just so you know. Yeah, yeah. She's got visions in her head now, whether she wants them there or not. Yeah. It's a different <laughs> Uh, so she looks, I, I, so I don't think I've, she's heard anything from, uh, Fathom or Kay yet specifically, has she? Any requests? Any specific requests? Uh, you said magical uh, uh, trinkets or, uh, oddities. I guess Fathom. I just hadn't thought about it very much. I mean, things to protect me or hide me in battle are always welcome because <laughs> that's not where I want to be. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no treats. You know what would be helpful for me, seeing as how I'm a, a very fragile gnome with an armor class of 12? Something to help boost my armor class would be very helpful, mm. other than big, heavy armor. Some or your stealth. That's what I would prefer, too. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what yeah. was, Something what was that you were about to say? Uh, I'd be interested to see what she's got in cloaks. Close. Okay. Mm. So she says, take a look at my items uh, out here. They're not very special, but fun to look at. And I'll be back. And she sort of whisks off behind the counter into a, a, a back room for a little bit and gives you some time to look around. Um, she's well, I'd like a ring of water breathing. If she's got that, I'm very interested in that. Okay. Okay. So she's not going to be gone long. While she's gone, is anybody going to look around, do anything? I just want to get that out of the way first. I'm not going yeah, to steal anything. If that's what you mean. Do you feel around. like I need to cast tech magic to make sure what we're getting or what's happening with she my She looks like she's been here a while. She has. Yeah, it does look like that. It's a building. It's not a wagon. Uh, I'm definitely going to browse around while she's gone to see if they, anything catches Me my too. eye. Okay. Yeah, I think we uh, all will. What you see out here is very fancy looking weapons, um, like just ornate and elaborate things that really grasp the eye, uh, like a helm. There's a helm out here that's, that's uh, got wings on top of it. There's swords with huge flourishes around the hilt and guard. Some of this stuff looks absolutely useless in combat for real people, but um, uh, for real adventurers at least. But but it, it all looks amazing, and uh, it's it seems like what she's doing is putting things out that. Uh, are really attractive, really cool looking, but not necessarily something a real adventurer would want, but would probably sell well to wealthy nobles and and the type yeah. of Yeah. Well, we uh, don't want this extra factory undercoating. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh. the extended warranty is no good. You don't want the yeah, free serious no XM for like... XM? No, no. <clears throat> okay. I was wondering if there were a lot I of would cosplayers. Think I would think undercoating for those otter pants would be a necessity. <laughs> they already have undercoating. <laughs> they do. They do. They are the undercoating. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So she comes back out, and she plops. She she has uh, some things slung over her shoulder. She's got a bow hooked around her a little bit. She's got. Uh, it's not a sham, but a flute. I know that's not the same thing, but <laughs> she's got a flute. That's an upgrade. <laughs> uh, tucked under her arm. You're just torturing Michael now, right? 
<laughs> he hit his core so early. Yeah. It's really sad. Right, you got to keep this going. Net. Um. So, uh, some, and then a little box with some things on it. So she she goes to you, my dwarven friend. She pulls out a ring and sets it down, and uh, she says, "This will not help you breathe, but swimming through water becomes speedier than your legs on the land. A useful mm. item." Well, that's not saying a whole lot, but okay. <laughs> Well, perhaps <laughs> speedier than his legs. And no, I, I get if I if I if I swim fast, I don't need to breathe as much. I, I can get that. Okay, so I'm I'm interested a little bit. Okay, and she's but that's not all. I have this ring, but this allows you to walk on top of the water. As opposed ah, to that swim I'd probably be more interested. Well, I didn't be interested in both of them, but that's a I, what what are you asking for the pair? <laughs> Ah, a set, I see. Well, I don't know if they're a set, but a thousand gold. And she she puts that number out there like, uh, I don't know if you can afford this, would be the price of both of them. Together? A thousand gold? Yes, a thousand gold together. Wow, that's, that's a little rich. That sounds like a walkaway price to me. Well... Well, let's, let's, I mean, perhaps we could get to some group discounts and deals. And I know well, you have some perhaps items we you could trade and, back. And it depends on how favorably you take in our trades. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, and some of these are valuable trades. But wait, well, I'm not Well, color yet. me interested in both rings. Let's see what everybody else wants. Okay. See if we can make a package deal. Uh, so um, to you, she pulls, uh, to you, Pugil. She pulls out this, um, clearly a flute, and uh, it says, I realize this isn't your uh, normal instrument of choice, but a, a true musician can play many instruments, um, and this is very valuable. You can cast magic spells out of it. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, do you have some fairy wings or a little circlet of leaves to go with it? Because power word elf be... kill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Probably depend on what song you play with it. Yeah. So uh, she says, "Well, hold on a moment. I I chose this because it was close to your item, and." Um, uh, it's good. It does many things. You could uh, uh, befriend animals. You could protect yourself from certain kinds of energy or poisons uh, with these, as well as fly, become invisible, levitate, all kinds of magic. But, but, uh, uh, this is just the flute. Um, I do have, as well, a harp. Very expensive. Oh, it gets better. I don't know if you play a harp, sir, but it's a very expensive, uh, very rare item. Does no, it's not part of my proficiencies. Is not harp. I have. Does the flute fit inside the sham? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> I, have, I, I can't. I can't play the flute either. I have sham, drum, horn. What's more awesome well, than the flute, though? Well, let's let let me also say that these instruments are a tad there you easier go. for musician to pick That's up. That's it exactly. Try it. There you go. They're they're what? A tad easier for musicians to pick up and use. Uh, here, try it. Blow on it a bit, and she sort of right. passes it over to you. And I'll frolic about and play the flute. Okay. Yeah. How how is it so awesome? I want to learn to play the flute. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. Well, this what is, does the harp do? I'm having to skip uh, many things. The do you have a tambourine? Yeah. I, want, I think we should get him a tambourine. The harp oh, will goodness. do many of the things that this flute will do, but will also oh, allow you to small. control the weather, cure wounds of your fallen comrades, oh my gosh. and create protective like, walls around yourself uh, of natural feel like we're being taken for a ride here. This is the harp or the flute? That would be the harp. The harp. 
We I might have that. a crush on this harp. Yeah, I, I think you should get that harp. Just I, do it once a day I don't or... think it can possibly do what what they're saying it's going to do. I mean, it doesn't matter. I, I think we're it in a store matter. where you can buy plastic matter. dog poop and those endless handkerchief things <laughs> that you pull out of your sleeve. That's the kind of magic <laughs> store we're in. Yeah. <laughs> oh my if gosh, you you're so up, we can we can now, send Abraham back in to roll initiative. As as I said, yeah. the harp is very expensive. Um, it would set you back around six thousand gold. Oh God! But controlling the weather is no small feat. Are and there will it also a limited me? number of charges on this harp, or what's the deal? Uh, well, uh, you could use uh, a limited number, but they reset every day at dawn as the sun rises. Oh. Would you be averse to a lot for for that kind of price? I'd like to take it to our magic expert and have this verified. Uh, you could <laughs> verify it here, or bring your magic expert here. But I would not leave such a precious item to leave. Oh, no, we'd bring the magic expert here, but that, because that, that seems like a tremendous piece of equipment. Of course. Uh, Of course. Does it also allow you? Oh, oh, keep going, please. There's more. That's not all. There's more. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. We found the magic shipping and handling. I mean, look. Get the harp and the flute. The harp. (laughs) And a special carrying case. (laughs) Uh, she actually um, grabs uh, from behind her and pulls out a shield and hands it over to Gooseneck and um, and says, a shield that you don't have to wield, sir. I see your weapon is two-handed. It is. So how would you like wield to the shield. instead... Let the shield wield itself. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. Well, that sounds interesting. Yeah. I don't what, believe it. What kind of what kind of armor class does it have? Armor class? Well, I mean, it reflects many things. It will certainly add just as a normal shield would to you. The difference okay. is you don't have to be holding it. Oh, put it on your back. That's pretty sporty. It, it, yeah, is it is that pretty how it sporty. Works? It's on your back, or it just kind of hangs there. Yeah. And... No, throw that in the cart. <laughs> uh, it's really test bugging it? me now. <laughs> I like that. Throw that in the cart. Uh, she's like, observe, <laughs> and she really bugging me. She says a word, and she sort of puts it up, and it pops up into the air around you, and moves uh, around. Floating That's shield. Yeah, that's, that's very that's sporty. sporty right there. That's, that's pretty that's, sporty. That's sexy, that's I have sexy. to say. Now, yep. if it keeps uh, our lizard alive better. Admittedly, uh, this is another 6,000 gold, roughly. God, time. Lord. No, but She's, so look, she sees a party of adventurers, and she <laughs> wants your coin. Uh, and she has right. useless stuff for her. I mean, this is awesome stuff, but it's not going to, it doesn't help her. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, well, I suggest we come back after she's locked up for the night. <laughs> <laughs> um, be a hell of a lot cheaper. Grabs it and she pulls it down. Ah, but I'm not done yet. Ooh, uh, of course not. She, uh, she <laughs> it polishes itself too. She pulls this bow out from around and holds it kind of out to you, Abran, and says. Subtle magic, but powerful. Uh, mm. Much easier to shoot, more damage when you hit. Valuable oh. weapon, this is. Does it shoot flaming arrows? <laughs> it does not, but it imparts mm. its magic upon any arrow it launches. Ooh, oh, what magic is that? Gosh. And this yeah, is just a little tiny part. town here on the side of the lake that we're finding all this uh, stuff. Well, we're in the suburbs. Yeah, you're in the Hold suburbs on, of the big port town. I'm talking about this magic bow. What, what magic does Go it ahead. On Go ahead. ahead. <laughs> I'm feeling like we're being taken for a long ride here. <laughs> uh, oh, wait till you get to town. Um, uh, so <laughs> it, the magic is, is, as I said, it's subtle and simple. It's in its design. The elves architected this and designed it to be balanced and precise 
It's uh, ah. magical by its nature. It does not do anything special. But what it does, it excels at and will make you a better archer. Okay. Oh, I want in the cart. So as an elf, can he see the elf elven craft work? Does it um, look like it's really elven? It does look like it's really elven. Um, it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not the kind of uh, bow that's going to, uh, to be clear, to, to metagame a little bit, that's going to shoot fire or make arrows hover or anything. It's simply uh, plus magic. And to be, to be ultra clear, it is plus two. Uh, that's and a pretty damn good bow anyway. Plus, plus two to hit, plus two to uh, uh, damage. Yes. Both. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty but sporty. Also the shield keeps our lizard alive. So. Uh, yeah. and the shield keeps alive. Now, this is a little cheaper than the others. It's around uh, 2,500 gold. Okay. Oh, so super cheap. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I'm pulling 6,000 6, gold items out. This is relatively cheap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to make choices, obviously. You're not, I don't think you have enough gold to get everything here. Uh, and she also says, but there's more, of course, <gasps> as you expect. There's more. And she there's pulls more. a uh, ring cloak. Of fireballs. <laughs> No ring of fireballs. Yeah, we've all agreed that you should not be allowed to have a ring of fireball until you get your license. Oh. <laughs> I, that's all right. I got my Rutarki rifle. That's fine. Maybe we could give him one fireball, just one ring with one fireball in it. Just, just one. Um, He'd use it before the afternoon was out. <laughs> yes. That's fine. As long as he uses it to get more fireballs, I would think it'd be fair. Really would. Totally would. I'd walk outside and use it. <laughs> be like, so my mind Just on the nearest shit. chicken. <laughs> Where's the chicken? I want to try it out. She pulls, <laughs> oh. she pulls out from um, a pouch. Uh, it looks like two different materials and kind of lays them out Ooh. over the counter in front of UK. And she says, two cloaks for your perusal. One uh, of elven make makes you a little speedier and Ooh. a little stealthier as you move through Ooh. area. And then this one, a little bit more expensive, but uh, imbued with the dark, the darkness and fright around bats allows you both stealth and to fly through the air. Ooh. Cool. Ooh. Mm. Stand up that sounds pretty sporty. Yeah, yeah, that's. I like that. Very nice. That's and how much nice. for these? Each of them? Well, Three. the the elven made cloak would set you back around five hundred gold, but Ooh. this cloak, yeah. imbued with the properties of a bat, well, this one would be around twelve hundred gold. Excellent. Definitely interested. Mm. Uh, and now for you. And looks at Fathom. Uh, interested in the unique things of the world. Stuff that might not be oh mm, uh, on the normal alleyways, I have this staff, and she she kind of pulls out a um, a, a staff that is um it looks like a branch that's kind of from a really old decrepit looking tree almost. Ooh. Interesting. Um, again, mm. this thing this item would recharge its charges daily at dawn. Uh, you could, if you wished, hit somebody with it, strike it, uh, um, which is always nice. And when you did, uh, it would deal an extra bit of damage. Uh, metagame, well, uh, nothing yet. Well, it's not metagame yet. <clears throat> Um, 
Jeez, what does she want for that? I'm wondering will, if this metagame is a sales tactic now. What it will also do... <laughs> Uh, that would be Frank's sales tactic, not the, not the, uh, not the, uh, not, not Terrace's. Uh, but also, it sort of enfeebles them a little bit, uh, withers them, you might say, if they uh, fail to stand up to the magic in the staff when you strike them and make them far less effective in combat. But that's for the melee person, which I'm not sure if you are or not. But I also have this. I try to and be. But every now and then a snail sneaks up on you. You wouldn't think it would happen. But. <laughs> now, this staff would be about 5,000 gold. This stone, oh, wow. however, not too expensive. Uh, 550 gold. And uh, it gives you just a little bit more luck. But it's a wondrous little item. Yeah. More luck is always useful. Bargain at twice the price. Yeah. You're talking to even, the person that needs I, the luck. Yeah, I've been known to wear Philly hats to get luck, so a stone. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I see you what? have some wonderful items. Uh, what would you all be interested in closing this these purchases out? Well, well I, 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 I I've, think, got a, I've got a question. Wait, let's start. Yeah, let's start with uh, Pujol. What, um, the, the harp was 6K. What was the other 6K item? The shield. The shield. Shield was 6. Shield. Okay. And the, okay. Yeah. We don't currently and have a price. price. Do we no. have a price on the suit? The rings were we 1,000. How much was the bow? Uh, 2,500. 2,500. 2,500. Yeah, the flute was also going to, was going to be around 1,200 as well. Because, I mean, the flute on its own isn't that bad. No, it's not. Well, why, why don't we see How what much? we can get for the oh, um, uh, spell components? Okay, let's let's lay them all out. Okay. And the uh, magic, the space tools. Yeah, okay. it looks like a pretty even trade. You're probably coming out on the better end. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, I'm glad, I'm glad Corn Cobbs. I wouldn't say that's I'm, true at all. But make I, I have a very make high a persuasion. Make a persuasion I check. A, uh, this will give you extremely some high persuasion and deception without bonuses. No, this will or give you bonuses. some bonuses, sort of okay. on what she's going to take as value. Uh, Twenty-three. Wow, twenty-three persuasion. That is good. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you said persuasion. Yeah. Treasure we have because didn't we have some other gems? You do have some other gems as well. Or cash or something. Yeah, I got a plus three in persuasion. So um, or plus so, four yeah. in persuasion. So she. Wow. It is conceivable you could buy all this. Stuff. So, uh, so she she says, well, um, you make a fine point. If I was to give you gold for your items. I think I could part with 1,500 gold. However, if you want store credit, I would give you 3,000 gold. We're interested in the store credit, I think, but wow. that sounds that sounds a little undervalued, actually. You don't know how many times we died just to get these items. Well, many, yeah, how many times? The, we yeah, we start out a party of five times. Yeah, I, we start out a party of twelve. And now <laughs> we're just what you see here, and a cockatrice egg and some some uh, whatever parts from some giant lizard in the water, worm in the water thing. Yeah, some I, of these things are pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. I can trace mm. back the elven lineage on this bow alone for three generations. Do you know how that long that is, sir? Many people. What have happened died. to them? Are they dead now? Oh, they. Because if they're, they're dead, dead it's not such a good bow, dead. is it? Well, if these creatures died so easily, their items must not be good either. Now, are they? Ooh. He didn't die easily. Ooh. Ooh. You see all these scars? Ooh. I mean, look how hideous our <laughs> lizard man is. Yes. <laughs> He's just a regular oh. amount of hideous. Don't be... Hey, the lizard man's the only one that didn't die last week. It's... That's last right. week, but the weeks before, okay. man's just a walking okay. scar tissue. The gnome has something to say to the party in private. Hmm. It, 
it looks like we got a 12k budget, right? Unless we've got anything else to add, how much how much over 12k have we got? I mean, we have we some miscellaneous gems and coins and stuff, but apparently none of us were writing this down. So we, we, we got, got a lot of gems off the troll. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, I, I left my uh, you know I left my notebook back in Spokane, so that's not. We got um, nine thousand off the troll worth of gems. Right, but yeah. uh, but the rest is pocket change. I, I've got written down an onyx that's worth a hundred, a couple of agates worth fifty, the rat bracelet. Now I've got written down a resurrection scroll. I don't know what that means. That's, I've also that got sounds like resurrection we should keep that. We should keep that maybe. I I've say keep the resurrection written, scroll. I've also gotten written down a book and a half read scroll from the witch's hut. We could get um, rid of those. Oh, yeah. I've got ten gems uh, at fifty gold each. I've got um, a, and a potion of etherealness. Well, that seems Whatever useful. That I don't that. That lets you become non-corporeal and go through walls and things, I think. Mm. So if we take the, the potion of etherealness and the resurrection potion out of the pile. Okay, so that's still 700 plus an unread book and a half half scroll, half mm -hmm. read scroll. But we don't now, know what it is. Right so well, it let's looks throw like it up on the budget, table and see what she's... Yeah. yeah, what does she what does she value the book and the half red scroll? Because mm. right now we got thirty seven hundred. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's three nine. It's twelve. Twelve seven right. is our yeah current yeah. balance. Yeah. She says. Some I'd like words. to. I don't want to go much over nine thousand for this pile of stuff. I'd give up one of the rings for sure. She says some words under her breath and. Uh, uh, you can tell uh, Fathom that she's casting Detect Magic. Okay. Um, she looks at the, the scroll and book and the other items, but the scroll and book, since they're newly presented, and says, oh, hmm, not much use in these, uh, but I'd give you 500 gold for them. Okay. And how much in store which credit? Means which means, they're yeah, oh. how much in store credit? Fair enough. You've got me there. We'll say eight hundred. So you have thirty eight hundred in store credit. It's a pig and a poke. It sounds like it's worth okay? a lot of money as a pig and a poke, so Well then perhaps you could sell it somewhere else. No, no, it's I say sell it. We don't know what it does. And neither do I. I can only tell it's half red, which is only half useful or half disaster waiting to happen. All right. All right. It looks so, like we got, okay, we got we got nine. Three in, we got nine thousand. We, we got thirteen three in store credit, including all the troll gems. So get up, want... kids. I'm okay with the staff being on the bottom of the priority pile because I think it's more important for Oligarto to have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, you know what? I yeah, I'm yeah, almost I'm almost thinking. I'm almost thinking uh, Usual needs the Usual needs the harp because he's he he needs some you know he needs some firepower. Uh, I mean, I when I go into a rage, I you know I I get a half damage so for most for most hits. So I, we're I, looking at honest, harp since I can breathe underwater. I might want the swimming ring because. I can already I don't want the water. I don't want the swimming ring. I'd rather take the walking ring, the water walking ring. I think I think the swimming the swimming ring would probably be more useful. That way, we don't have to spend the other six grand I, on the I shield. The you're... shield's cool, but uh, all right. I, for, okay, l l I've done I think the everybody math. else needs some of the other stuff. I I think we're go ahead for um. For 12K, we got the rings, the harp, the the bow, the elf cloak, the bat cloak, and the luck staff. The luck stone? Luck stone. Staff. Oh, the stone. Staff. The, the more, there was a luck stone, and then there no, was, there, a, there was a, a withering luck? staff. There was two different Oh, things. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, it was a stone. That was super expensive. Okay. Luck stone. Do, sorry. Do the stone. Don't you think? 
Let's Adam. see. So that's, let's see. That's 1,007. The bow is 895. The elf cloak is 10. It's a shopping episode. Um, <laughs> it is a shocking episode. It's like my nightmare. <laughs> well, we had, hey, what are Michael, you about? You're getting I, magic knew, I knew when you got to town oh, yeah. you'd have some shopping, so right before this, that I put in the this is a, for you. Plucking <laughs> pigeon episode is what this is, just plucking the pigeons. <laughs> where's where's All right. Dave? We need some accounting. That's yeah, right. So exactly. If I'd known, I would have gone back through and, and uh, tallied up everything we've got. It's all right. It's just well, I think we I think we have enough to work with. I mean, uh, you do. You definitely do. Yeah. Roll for yeah, we, we I'd, just probably I'd really like close. to figure yeah. out a way to get that shield to the lizard man. I I I don't think the or armor or something. I mean, it's I could cool, keep but... casting bark skin on him, but that's it. <laughs> Seven, What's your armor nine, class? Cool, but 10, I think 11. I think between the two of us, I think Pujol would would benefit more than I would. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, I think, but we I benefit by hurts. having you not die every time because then you can <laughs> yeah. do more damage. We always benefit by that. How much was that shield? It was the most expensive. Six. Six. Yeah. To yeah. For taxes. You're like six. The harp and the shield are both six. Yeah. So yeah. you can only so get that... one of those. So let's let's say we do... I say the uh, gnome and the lizard man fight it out. <laughs> Whoever, uh, I I don't wins. care that much. He can have it using using the shield and the harp, though. Then we can kind of test it at the same <laughs> time. That's three K. So oh, we can a thousand spectators too. So that that's a win all around. I think. Yeah, a thousand for we both ring. Twenty five for the bow. Five for the elf cloak. Twelve hundred for the back cloak. Um, five fifty for the luck stone. That means that is uh, three, four, five, seven, fifty-seven hundred. So that is eleven seven for um, it's fifty-seven hundred for all that stuff. If you throw in a shield or a harp. That adds six, which is eleven. Makes it eleven seven. And we have right thirteen. Well, hang three. on a second. When I, I have a question about the resurrection potion, the scroll. Does yeah. somebody have to be a certain level to cast that? So the only person here that can cast that is you, Corn Cob. And technically, it's above your level, but you'd have to make a uh, check that could fail while you're trying to cast it. But you could attempt to cast it. It's just higher power than you actually currently are. What if you or we could have a dead guy that we take somewhere and try to get someone else to do. Uh, yeah, that's. I don't know. That's a iffy. That's that's iffy. I'm. That's I mean, going to have to be a party decision. But in I. The group will really miss that much. I mean, come on. No, not really. <laughs> not really. Are you? None of us are replaceable. That You're person. just you. You want to get rid of it so there's no chance on using it on Abran, right? Right, Bujol? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the elf must go. Look, if we buy if we buy all wow. the stuff, not the not the, the staff hater. of whacking, that's that's 5k. We, we can get I don't need a staff of whacking. Uh, we can get everything back. There's a there's a harp, a magic shield and the staff of whacking. Those are off the table because those are expensive. We can get both rings, the bow, the elf cloak, the back cloak, and the luck stone for fifty-seven hundred. If we, uh, we if how we much add, was the flute? I don't. I didn't write 1200. that down. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Oh, twelve. Yeah, twelve hundred. Yeah. But, but what does the harp do that the flute didn't? I mean, it, you can fly. It clearly something? does more powerful things. Uh, both of them, more you could powerful. fly. I think, but you could control the weather. And you can cure people with the and harp. You can't. Do we're going to be on a boat. We need you to control the weather. Yep. And we need to be able to walk on water and swim. Well, how much is that resurrection thing worth? Are you going to ask to sell it? 
Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, ask her, I'll ask her what it's worth. See yeah, if, right. see if I have this. They I have this pristine, pristine scroll. It's never been used to resurrect anybody, not even once. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, yes, indeed. I see that. Uh, this would be worth a good three to four thousand gold. Oh, wow. Mm. It's not so, three to four thousand gold. Well, for store credit. If, if something Jeez. like the shield stopped you from getting killed all the way, we wouldn't need the resurrection scroll, is what I'm thinking. Right. Ah, <laughs> well. Yeah, we are. And if I'm dead, <laughs> if you guys are dead and I'm dead, we can't use a resurrection. If I'm dead, we can't use a resurrection <laughs> scroll anyway. So okay. I should get the shield. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. That's what I'm oh saying. My word. Oh stop, my work. Word. stop work. Stop work. Stop work. Stop work. If we if we just get the both rings, the bow, the elf cloak, the bat cloak, and the luck star, it's 57, 5700. Yeah. 13 3 minus the 5700 leaves us 7600. So mm -hmm. I say mm -hmm. let's 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 get all that stuff. And then we'll start negotiating for harps and flutes and other nonsense, given a new budget of seventy six hundred plus a resurrection scroll as a maybe, which may bump yeah. us up to ten k. Okay. Okay. All right. So we make that exchange. All right. We now have both rings: the bow, the elf cloak, the bat cloak, and the lucky star. Okay. And we're down to seventy six hundred and a resurrection scroll. We got to keep a little bit of walking around money. So she she no, said we, got, well, we each have somebody seventy six. We each have coinage. We each have some. Yeah. I got thirty five gold. I'm not exactly rolling in it. Yeah, well, yeah. thirty five. Thirty five golds. Uh, like yeah, it's, it's uh, enough to set up a business in this town. Yeah, obviously, right. <laughs> she says. This is what she says. She says if you include that scroll and the remainder of the money that you're tallying, I think I would be willing to throw in both the harp and the shield. Ooh. You guys need me to cast detect magic to just make sure or anything, or absolutely. I, I'm I still gonna, don't I, trust I, this. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Before we leave, before we yeah. leave, you're gonna do the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I will, I will, yeah. I will let you know what everything before. Is there the water final... trough around here? I can try to skip along or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Little... You know what? If we if we throw this if we throw this this scroll in. We're saving like sixteen hundred gold. It's like a yeah. sixteen hundred gold deal. Deal. Well, when one of us tells uh, us, I, I think we'll I think getting rid of the scroll that only I can right. use, and I can only use it if I make a spectacular roll. That's pretty iffy. Something like a it. harp or yeah. a magic shield sounds like it, it's far more useful every day. It is an everyday yeah. useful yeah. item. Yeah. I vote yeah. Those things are fireball rings, but they're pretty right. damn good. You know what? I'm tired of Let's hearing Sham. I vote yay. yay for <laughs> you can hear a harp yeah. for a little while. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear some yeah. flute and harp and whatever. Maybe, maybe you can increase yep. your uh, copper okay. take. Well, only if you throw in a pair of costume <laughs> wings. If you throw in a pair of costume wings for the gnome, we'll call it good. <laughs> and a little diaper. And a book of new music. Gotta, the gnome is not getting the flute, right? The gnome is not getting. No, the he's flute. getting the harp. Uh, if this okay, deal goes good. through like this, yeah, you know, harp, a fake little wings, guy. little diaper. Any, any <laughs> nay votes? Are there any nay votes? No, we're good. Okay. All right, then let's do that. You're done. So, yeah. No, All these gems and magic items are getting me, heavy anyway. Oh, you you're Sweet. getting a lot of magic. Let me let me go through uh, now to wow. tell you the actual <clears throat> names so you can write them down. You can find them later oh, and put them on cool, your character cool, cool. sheet. So for you, Michael, this is easy. This is just a plus two longbow. Okay, it's plus two to hit and plus two damage. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay, can cool. I go back to carrying both rings, you guys? And it doesn't do yeah. anything else. No, it That's doesn't it. do anything else. Okay. Cool. I thought um, he wanted the one ring. The I was, I, it, it, He's it getting a shield. It, yeah. That's well, that's fair. I, I can flip a ring to him if he needs it. Now you Who's got, getting the other cloak? Bujo, because he's... You got the elven cloak, something? not the cloak of the bat. Is that right? Or bottom yeah. You're stealthy. That's you, aren't both. you? Both. You got both. Both. both cloaks. Okay. Both. both cloaks. 
Now both, both coats. Some of these magic items require attunement, which means uh, um, uh, oh, you know, you're going to have to decide. You know, you can only have three magic items attuned to you at once. I think you're all fine, but just I want to mm -hmm. keep that in mind. So uh, Cloak of Elven Kind is one of them, and Cloak of the Bat is the other. Both useful items. Um, all right. So the shield is an animated shield. Uh, which which does exactly what it says it does. Uh, you can toss it up, and it will animate around you for a full minute, and uh, as though you were wielding a shield. But you don't hmm. have to. Um, um, we could throw in my animated weapon, and we could just stand back and watch mayhem. Start. How many? How many times? Is there a limit to how many times a day I can throw it up? Or uh, it takes a bonus action to throw it up. And um, you could end it with a bonus action, but it only there's there's not a limit. Okay. I just it animates for a minute, and then you have minute. to redo it again, basically. Okay. Uh, so the ring one is water walking, and one is the ring of swimming. Easy. The the sw ring of swimming lets you swim a speed of forty movement through the water. Uh, um, and water walking lets you walk on water. Uh, the the stone is a luck stone. It's uh, plus one. To um, sorry, let me get that. Why did I not have that in easy place? Let's see, probably because it was a small item. So uh, yeah, it's a luck stone. So it gives you uh, basically a plus one to um, like your saving throws your checks. I don't think it gives you a plus one to your attacks or anything like that, though. A plus three on river cross crossings. <laughs> but she didn't would... know I had a special problem, Arian. She did not know. Why well, do you think we got the walking on the water ring? Uh, right. Uh, the harp is an Anne's Truth harp. It's a bard item. It's, uh, it's a what? It's a normal instrument of the bards. It's super rare. You can fly, so you can cast spells from it. Fly. What's it called? Uh, Anne's Truth. A N S T R U T H Harp. It's in the book. You can look it up. To give a brief synopsis for everybody, you can cast fly, invisibility, levitate, protection from good and evil. Um, plus, you can. Cast Control Weather, Cure Wounds, and Wall of Thorns. And the Cure Wounds... All at the same time? Level. Yeah, not at the same time, but you could do all those things. That's like a no Warthog wins. Harp. No wins. Uh, did I no miss win. anything? Did I miss any items? <laughs> I think that's it, right? Hey, if you can do stuff in combat now, we all win. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. yeah, that's probably a good point. Plus... I can always cast a minor illusion to make the harp look like a sham. Mm -hmm. And sound like a sham? Um. Yes. <laughs> All right. So there it is. The shopping is done. You've got these wonderful items. Uh, so we're initiative. Cloak, though. We should know that, shouldn't we? What was that? Who's wearing which cloak? Kay's going to wear the bat, right? Because that's the better cloak. And she can fly. Well, they, I mean, so they both do different, wow. slightly different things. Uh, Cloak of the Bat is pretty cool. It does allow you to fly when you activate it. Um, and the Cloak of Elvenkind is simply, well, I don't want to say simply. So Cloak of Elvenkind basically uh, gives you bonuses on your perception checks. Um, <laughs> so she can see everything. She that. can see through people. Um, and then advantage on dexterity uh, stealth checks to hide. So advantage on your stealth checks to hide is pretty freaking good. Um, so Cloak of the Bat, though, has advantage on your stealth checks. But uh, if you are in an area of darkness um, or dim light, you can use it to fly at a speed of 40. Um, which is pretty cool. And you can actually ask also if you're in that area of poly, turn yourself into a real bat. I mean, so uh -huh. it does some special things, but that's not going to work in the daytime, in the middle of the sun. So it has some limitations as well. So who's going to wear which one? 
That I don't know. All right. But I will say this, because we're midway through the game. We've got, us, we, we've got more uh, coming up after this. I wanted to make sure you got your level after the last game, and you're geared up and ready to go for the next set of things that will happen. Um, but for right now, we have to take a break, and then we come back. Um, maybe you'll... Maybe now we get to use them all. Then you get to use them all. <laughs> exactly. I love it. All right. Uh, so, um, Justin, if you could... Well, everyone, we'll see you in 10 or 15 minutes. We're going to take a quick break. Get up, stretch, and go to the restroom, get a drink, all those things. This is the QVC episode. Yeah. <laughs>
Hi, and welcome back. Uh, we have, everybody has decided who gets what, and they've made their magical item purchases. Gone shopping, basically. Everybody is full of what they need to. Ah, and this little town before the port has been a nice restocking place for them. Uh, I'm going to assume you're going to go back out to Market Square and not hang around in, in her shop. Later. I'm going to do a dagger check in here, though, since she's likely not to find that super weird. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah she doesn't find it super weird. Although, she does look at the dagger like, oh, yeah. Um, and you Maybe she could tell check. us something about the dagger or the orb. Maybe we don't want to know. No. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's true. This might be an Maybe we don't want to know. Situation. Just a thought. <laughs> look, um, just deliver the briefcase. Do not look in the briefcase. <laughs> it, it does. Uh, it seems to be pointing not towards the port town. Actually, a little bit off to uh, along the coastline, so parallel. But you're not sure it's solid yet. Like, it's not solidly pointing there. But it does seem to almost be. What time of day is it now? Uh, it's. That's a good good point. It's probably late afternoon, supper time. I think we might get a better reading at night. So we'll see what happens. Okay. As it gets darker. Well, let's go to the main city and see if we can trade this stuff up for something better. <laughs> you want to be like that guy that started with a paper clip and bought a house? Yeah, but... just yeah why say, not? Let's take that harp and make it into uh, plate mail for you, right, Corncon? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we we got to get we got to get our gnome to get a full orchestra. Um, okay. Yeah, I so, think he'll pry that harp out of his cold dead hands. But... Yeah, I think so. I'm yeah. pretty sure he's. Yeah, that's yeah. Now that I've read about it, forget it, kids. It's extra. Well, achievement. you're welcome. You're welcome, Pujol. Thank you so I'm much. I'm pretty sure the elf could make that happen, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just, just don't Walt get too far on the elf. <laughs> uh, now, as you step out, a, uh, you can see a dispute um, out here. I guess I better get it. With the ale merchant, perhaps? Camera on it. Uh, there is... Um, uh, a gentleman uh, seems to be pushing past. He's trying to get, it looks like he's trying to get into this shop, honestly. Uh, the one that we're in. Yeah, the one you're in. But oh, the guards are trying to um, restrain him. He seems frantic. And he's saying, no, no, she can help. Uh, uh, Justin, could you take camera two so I can readjust camera one? So, thank you. And, um, yeah, he's struggling to get into the shop as you are coming out of it. The guards are, are not being rough to him, but they're just saying, hey, calm down, calm down. Uh, but he's not calming down. He's pretty frantic. And you guys are exiting the shop. So can I call back to Sherlock actually and ask if she knows this guy? No, I don't. I'll ask the guard what's going on. Oh, you can help me, sir. And the guard's like, come on, let's not start of this. Uh, this man is uh, uh, running to Sherris. He said he's seen something in the old town. Uh, um, what would it hurt for him to talk to Sherris? He can talk, but is he, he a notorious it. liar of some sort? Uh, he's it, and so he looks back, and you see everybody in the market square, like looking, watching, and he's free to talk. We just want him to do it uh, without instilling panic and fear amongst everybody. He's he's talking I agree. giant beasts. I, I I I agree. Okay. I'd like to hear more about what he has to say, though, if he doesn't mind talking to us. No, I don't mind at all. Of course not. There, I, there's something in the old town, and the guards are kind of looking down, like, ah, oh, there's, there's nothing in the old town. Is there like a bench over to the side somewhere where we could kind of try to take him and calm him down, keep him quiet? Um, 
Yeah, you could find the place. I mean, there's there's a bunch of wagons. You could find like a, a basically a fruit cart, an apple box or something that you could turn over and sit on and relax next to the wagons. Uh, the food stocks and stuff are all in this area and try to calm him down. The guards let you do it. They kind of step back. Uh, one of them kind of nods to the other to, to go about their rounds and they just kind of watch him as you are interacting with him. Let me get another shot for you. Uh, but but I will ask who is going to be talking to him? Um, that's, I mean, I'll <clears throat> keep talking to Corn somebody Cobb is else. interested. Yeah, Corn Cobb. Corn Cobb's a talker. Okay, Corn Cobb. I'm going to move this. Uh, so yeah, you are able to move over a little bit. Move him out of the way. People are b begin to go about their business normally. Um, Gooseneck, Pugil, K. I'll pull you out of the shop, but you're free to roam about, of course, wherever you want in there. And he says, look, I understand, but I've lost a whole cow to some beast that's in there. I know he doesn't that's want to bring it. fear, but... But I think that the town should be alerted. The old town isn't that far from here. And, a, and something that could, 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 I, I have just the hind quarters of my cow left. When you say the old town, do you mean the big city over here or somewhere else? No, no, down that way along the coastline. There was uh, a breakwater is, is the second keep that was really established, but, uh, a few hundred years ago, there was an old town, uh, uh, the original keep. Something went wrong with the original settlers there, the, uh, but uh, and they abandoned it and moved to a, a better area. Uh, so we just call it the old town, but it was really the old established keep. I'm going to guess you're that's muted. What I, we can't hear you. What is the nature of the beast that has attacked your cow? Do you know? I, I don't know. I One bite? Do you think he left the hand quarters behind in one bite? It looks like it, but I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not used to beasts that big. Some Occasionally, a wolf. What uh, makes you something. think it was a big beast? What else could have taken away three quarters of a cow? Ooh. In one swipe? I got a new Over bowl. what span I'm of time? I saw no cart tracks. Uh, it was fed in the evening. I came out uh, the next morning early, and there was, uh, admittedly, I should have come out during the night when I heard a small, I, I believe I was woken up by a sound, but I thought it to be nothing. And when I came out, it was gone. But there were no footprints and no cart tracks. What else could have done it? Why do, you think the, why do you think uh, Sheriff can help you with this? Deals in magic items and magical things. She must know what leaves no footprints, what can take half a cow. She must have potives or weapons against such creatures. I'd say that's a yeah. fair bit of reasoning. <laughs> How about if you show us this, this, uh, this barn or this pasture where the, the cow has been attacked? Yes, of course. Uh, if you would be willing, I, I would. I, I would. Of course, the I, I can't offer much. The the town uh, I I know has a, a standing bounty on trolls. If it turns out to be such like that, um, and, and, and they on, pull, tell me they, more about the troll bounty. Oh, a hundred gold per head. Uh, but well, but so course, if you had a nine-headed troll, you could make a lot of money. Is what you're saying? <laughs> well, yeah, but that would be ridiculous, sir. It would be. It would be. <laughs> you would think that. Yes, you would. Yeah. Have. Well, let's. Uh, if you don't mind, why don't you show us, uh, show us where the the scene of this was, and maybe we can, uh, maybe one of us can go talk to the guard and have him spread the word up to Old Town. Uh, of course, of course. And so uh, he says, uh, "Would you like to talk to the guard first? We can we can follow me back that way uh, now. I live in between sure. here in Old Town." Okay. Sure. Is the guard still there? 
one of them is is absolutely watching. The other one is okay. gone about their own old rounds. Well, well we're, we we're fairly away, certain. Oh, go ahead. Can we can we not confer amongst our own knowledge of whether this creature seems like something we would ever have heard of? Mm, you probably could. Uh, would you like flying any... troll? It's already obvious. It's a <laughs> flying troll. We got flying capes. It's pretty easy to figure out. Yeah, it's clear. Flying nine-headed troll. Yeah, uh, mm. flying nine-headed troll. It's a dire troll with a cloak of the bat. Uh, clearly, and um, we're trying to make some pocket change real fast. So I think so, this is where we go. Well, how do we make pocket change out of the trolls we already killed? Is what I want to know. You can't keep the head; it grows back. <laughs> I was yeah. wondering. No, there you go. I was wondering if you were going to pick up on that. The That's big... why they want the head. Mm -hmm. That's why they want it. They want their own army of trolls, obviously. So, you can. I'll let you make arcana checks and or nature checks. Not both, but each one of you can choose which kind of check. If Go you nature want to, to think about what kind of creature could cause such a thing. I think I know about 16 points of arcana of what kind of creature would cause such a problem. Uh, not bad. Usual rolled a total of 25. Wow. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm sticking with my good. flying. I'm sticking now, with my flying yeah. troll hypothesis with a ten. I would like to say, Fathom, Dragon. don't forget that plus one for your new uh, newly acquired luck stone. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't know if it puts it in automatically, but if you equip it and attune to it, it will in your character sheet. I thought I, I equipped it. Okay, it might have done it already. But I don't see it on. I know some of these stats. I don't see it on. There's so. both equip. Yeah, I don't and think it added. Okay. Okay. Nature I'm Boy rolled a 25, so the 25, rest of you can relax. That's, that's, that is good. Anybody else have with their knowledge? Everybody has a different perspective, even from what Nature Boy And has. a five. Okay, yeah. No, <laughs> it, it doesn't sound like something you could eat. Let's go troll hunting, <laughs> El Legarto. It ain't chicken. <clears throat> it ain't chicken. Um, you could eat the rest of that cow. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Pugil, mm -hmm. well, actually, um, so Pugil's perspective, in nature, beef. there are creatures that burrow that could have come up from beneath the earth, and there mm -hmm. are certainly winged creatures large enough, although to bite Dragon. and leave part of it, maybe not. Like eagles and such perhaps Dragon. wouldn't. Uh, we would. I see. It would be trembling in your boots if it was a dragon, but I guess it could uh, be a dragon. A weaverin. I say, let's talk. Let's give the high sign to the to the guard to go to Old Town with a, a slight warning that we think this is probably true, and then let's keep quizzing this guy as we're walking. Okay. 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 The guard says. Uh, uh, if, there, if you find anything, please do tell us. We will alert the community. We just want to be sure before we send them in a panic. Just beware that he seems to be pretty strong in his conviction. Plus, Maybe if we don't come back, we'll leave behind a huge pile of magic items you can take back to share. So. <laughs> and she will resell them to somebody else. Yep. We say how this yep. works. We'll I, mean, resell them I feel like this is the whole setup now. This is this is we're going to go down a dark alley and get rolled. <laughs> can can uh, have we have we had an opportunity to, to attune these to these things yet? Um, uh, we'll say yes because I would like you to play with these new things. And um, during the trip, it's at least a couple hours. Technically, you I was going to say, walking, it should take some time. Maybe you, uh, maybe he has a wagon. We'll say he has a wagon to go back on. And so you can ride and relax on the wagon and attune while you're talking to him and get used to these magic items. Basically, you kind of well, feel around I don't need to attune mine. How do I use them? What I do I do with the them? I found the button for that. Right. But did <laughs> I know <laughs> From Arcana. <laughs> um, so yes, you did. Uh, from Arcana, you feel like um, large uh, flying things that are magical in nature. And yes, it could be a dragon. But there are other horrible beasties out there. You have heard of uh, things that levitate above the ground that are all mouth and eye, for example, that could have done such a thing. Yep. Air sharks. Air sharks, air sharks, air probably sharks. Did it. we're right near air sharks, we're right near a lake. You know of what monstrosities is... and horrible aberrations that could have come up from beneath earth 
Um, so similar to Pugil's findings, but but you know they could have had a magical bent to them. Um, yep. Not Does just this... natural creatures. When I... Sharks, dread beetles, dread beetles could do it. In, in between what? fondling my heart, I'm going to um, ask him he did he it. notice any... Did... It. Stop it. <laughs> Um, I'm going to ask him if he uh, noticed any disturbances in the ground that might indicate a subterranean encroachment. Uh, it, uh, the, the turf was certainly torn up beneath them. Um, with, uh, it wasn't a favorite part of their pasture, so there were a lot of hoof marks. Uh, the soil after a, a rain... Uh, I, I guess it was perhaps torn up a little bit more than usual. Uh, but, but no obvious tunnels. But there were no holes or tunnels. No, sir. Okay. Was was the remaining hindquarters of the cow, did it have a giant bite out of it? Or was it rent it or appeared sliced? To bite and not a rent, which makes Ooh. me... One very... bite, do you think? you think I, one I, big bite? I couldn't imagine such a creature. I, I imagine it must have gnawed on it a bit. But I see no footprints. Did it look like the hindquarters had been dropped from a height after it was done chewing? I didn't look at it in such a way. <laughs> Don't give him ideas, Michael. Any, any fingerprints? <laughs> uh, I, 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 I saw nothing unusual of, of hands. No. Hmm. Um, well, so is there yeah. any way to track... A, a, a if you can one, fly, a, a wonderful ranger could even track through the skies because they're that good. Um, mm, if you cool. had a ranger, you know. if we if yeah, we so have one of those, that'd be yeah. cool. You know, flying um, ranger and a flying maybe, harp gnome. Maybe somebody could talk to the plants and see see what's been happening. <laughs> yeah. So uh, after a bit of travel, you do get to the pasture. I don't have. I that. hope it's undead. Actually, hold well, on. Most of these guard plants. I think if I get some of this stuff out of the way, this will work well as a, a pasture area. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Am I correct in my assumption that this is roughly where the dagger was pointing? It is the same direction as the dagger pointing, yes. The same general direction. Justin, you should have something on camera too that's more interesting. So the orb is a dragon egg? Is that what we're, our working theory? We're returning I to its mother? The nice house. That yeah, that's fine. interesting. Oh, dear. Well, it's kind of comforting. Well, when okay. we get we tip it. scared we want to poop, we've got some place to go. <laughs> well, it's always back behind the pasture. You know. So yeah. you get out here, the general area he leads you. And um, mm. I don't have the rear quarters of, uh, of a cow, just the rear, I'm afraid, as a miniature. So please imagine them being there. Well, I guess we know what to suggest for Bone 6, right? Yeah, we need uh, yep. not not Half only the our wall and the Animal lighthouse, but some. Please. Why do we want a lighthouse? I don't really get it. Uh, so, uh, if you're searching for clues and looking around, please make some investigation or, yeah, investigation checks. Oh, uh, investigation! I like that answer. Ooh, I do like that answer. Ooh, I got a nineteen. I can I'd prefer that. to I'm investigating. I'd prefer to use my perception if I could use my perception. Is, is, you is, there, is there vegetation the around the scene of the crime, Frank? Twenty four. Uh, so twenty four is, is an awesome investigation. She out investigated you. We're gonna I'm gonna go from the I'm gonna go from the bottom right up to you, Bobby. Uh, before I get okay. to that. So uh Kay, is, what was your twenty. Twenty, okay. So twenty investigation. Uh, as you look around you um, keeping everything in mind you you see that uh, the ground does look a little bit tore up but not as though it was from underneath but from on top as though there was some sort of struggle you don't see any specific tracks other than the the um, uh, hooved cattle sort of tracks that you might see tearing up earth 
20, your check, Fathom, um, you actually look at an area where it looks, especially after hearing it suggested, as audacious as it might be by Abran, that it is possible that these hindquarters were dropped here in this mm. place. Um, Abran, did you make an investigation check or anything like that? Abran was sure busy. This is how? Half, right? It, it is his cow is half. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's his confident. He says, look, it's my brand there. Okay. Abran rolled a five, so he was busy picking his nose while everybody else was looking around. <laughs> Okay. You were I mean, very intrigued by that outhouse. You got distracted. Yeah. 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 Here, we'll just uh, bring you over. Um, uh, Everyone's sniffing around the outhouse again. Uh, yeah. Corn cop. Could I make a survival check to see if I can see any tooth or claw marks on this thing? You could make a. Yeah, sure. So that would give me. A 23. Um, so you do see a large tooth mark. Uh, uh, would be a very large incisor. You are not sure you've seen anything this large in your travels. It's a bite. Mm. Um, but it, this, it, this troll it has the biggest teeth I've ever seen in addition to being awesome. able to fly. <laughs> uh, um, Gene. 19. 19. On okay. my investigation. So you see, uh, similar to what Kay saw, but um, uh, it's not necessarily as tore up to you, perhaps. Um, Kay noticed mm. it was tore up as though there was a struggle. You don't notice that. You just notice there are a lot of hooved tracks around, and that seems to be what has churned up the earth here. Um, all right. So, uh, Pujo, you wanted to look for vegetation to speak to. Well, there are two trees flanking this outhouse that are within sight of this pasture. Oh, I'm uh, sure they're happy they trees. <laughs> <laughs> Are they close enough to have witnessed the struggle? They're within <laughs> about forty feet of where this uh, this flank of this cow have been left. Trees that aren't the, the outhouse the anymore. Outhouse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the well, they're just happy they... they're not the outhouse. They it's used to be the outhouse. <laughs> Dude, Joel, would you like to talk Do you guys to one of the trees? Think it's worth it to. To cast one of my top bin spells. <laughs> um, yes. Yes. Why not? If they, okay, if they know on. it's a I'll dragon handle, uh, or not. With what we've learned already, come on, we nature don't, boy. We have a place to start looking, do we? Yeah. Talk to are a the, tree. Are the two trees within in 30 the sky? Feet of each other? Uh, yeah, they are actually about thirty feet away from each other. Okay, so I'm going to cast speak with plants and interrogate the two trees, and um. It imbues them with limited sentience, so they they were they have the ability to communicate with me. They could follow simple commands, but what I would like to to know is I can wow. question them about about events in Command the spells area within the past day, okay. within the past day. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, the one it, on it, the right and the one on the left, we'll say. Would okay. You, would, which one do you talk to? I'm going to ask them about uh, creatures they may have seen, have, other than other than cattle. Have they seen any other creatures? Yes, I saw another creature. No, you didn't see another creature. It's your imagination. No, I saw another creature. Look at oh, you tell me about this creature. It was Thickering flying trees. through the air. Tree it banter. I love it. <laughs> yes. Don't be more. rude, trees. Tell me. Tell me more about the flying creature. Mm. It dipped down for a little bite. Oh, I don't ah. know what you're talking about. It was, he, he looks over the pasture all day, lowing hooves, dirt, and earth. What a boring existence. Look at this fine outhouse. No, don't look at the outhouse. I'm telling you, I saw a creature take, take its part in this action. You weren't kidding about oh, okay. him being limited. Which, like which, 
which direction did you see the creature come from and which direction did you see the creature depart towards? Ooh, it came question. It came and departed for both where the sun sets. Ah. Um, was the creature um, as big as a cow, as big as two cows, or as big as three cows? Or an outhouse. I'd like to know how big it two is. Outhouses. Yeah. Two outhouses. Two outhouses. Big as two outhouses. Two wow. outhouses. Oh, easy. A two outhouse dragon. That's not much. <laughs> How many heads did it have? Mm. It only understands Pugil. Yeah. <laughs> Suggesting what, uh, questions for Pugil. Does it have scales? Um, is it uh, two um, or is, one uh, or? Is it a mammal house. or is it a, a, a reptile or is it some other sort of creature? You know, does it have scales? Does it have fur? Does it have um, leaves? Does it have... No leaves. It, it has no leaves, like us. No. It, ha uh, it has a no bark, leaves. I guess. A, a, a shiny bark. It's a bark. That's a shiny That's bark. Scales. Yeah. Okay. Great. Did, um, Great. Did, it, did it have thorns? Ooh. Thorns. I Good saw... Question. I, I did see thorns around its... Head, a head. That's what you call it. Yes, the part that bites. Mm, yes, Heads. this part. Yes, yeah. yes, that's a head. See, he knows nothing. You know, he stares it, at the cows ask me all day. What color it was? What color was it? As it oh, reversed. what color was it? So here is where I'm going to ask Chad a question. I'm going to bring it to Chad. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait a minute. I don't even have my sock. I don't even have my sock accounts logged in. <laughs> Cat, Jim or Sandra? Jim or Sandra? Clever Crow says Jim. <laughs> well, Cranky Dog says they have the power now. Oh, another vote, for Jim. A oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? One Sandra? Okay. Two Sandras. Mm -mm. Sandra. We're, oh, at, we're almost at a yeah. tie. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. It's okay. A that puts it. No, that, that I don't know if I'm gonna count clever crow. I mean, scary purple face. I don't know what you vote that as. Oh, Sandra's in the lead. Nope. I'm okay. not that, counting clever that's crow. That's okay. That's <laughs> I guess we're going with Sandra. All right, you asked what Jim color would be it was. A known quantity. We're going with Sandra. It was blue. Ooh. Like the color of the sky. The dragon. It was what? Blue, blue, blue like as the sky. sky. Blue like the sky. Hmm. And um, did it have wings, and or or a tail? Was it long like a snake, or fat like a bird? It flew like a bird. Yes. Mm. <laughs> he wouldn't know what a bird was. What's a bird? He doesn't know what that means. I don't know what that means. This is ridiculous. <laughs> that's the other tree, obviously. Yes. <laughs> the one that's about to get chopped down. <laughs> <laughs> um. If you're if you be more cooperative, I'll have my elf friend fertilize your roots. Pugil, ask oh. ask him ask him has have they seen these creatures before? Or this creature yes. Before? Have you seen Have you seen these oh. creatures before? Yes, yes, I did once. Once I did. That's why I know what it was. It was before this house was here. Hmm. So it's it's a a blue. Bird that eats cows and comes from the west. Yes. Did yes. Did um, on its backside, if you see a bird that perches in your branches, you'll see it has a tail which looks like a little fan of feathers. Did this have this sort of tail, or did it have a long tail like a snake that like sneaks a snake, into your branches? Like a snake that bites the cattle. Yes, that's what it was. It was like a snake. Hmm. <laughs> Now, I know that you've seen in the night um, the bats that may come and roost 
amongst your leaves at the top in the dark. Did it have wings like a bat or did it have wings like a bird? Wings, I did not see well enough, but mm. perhaps like a bat, yes. Stupid tree eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. So it's a, a blue bird bat, big as two outhouses that flew to the west. Yes, two With outhouses. I've been here before. With uh, on it, this is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Well, oh, okay. M Mr. Yeah. Smart. Chop down the trees and make a giant crossbow. <laughs> What did Luckily you see? They can't if, you didn't, you. if you did if you didn't see what your your friend saw, what did you see? What did I see? Well, this this uh, what is this? A bovine, I believe. It was bitten yes. uh, here at this very spot. Uh, By what? A giant snake. It didn't fly. It was on the ground. And it which way did it go? When it left, I was bored. I didn't pay attention. I was looking at this outhouse. Look at the way the moon circles in the crescent. It's just like as it is in the sky. You're lying. Mm. You're making it up. Mm. <clears throat> well, so if, if, if he says it was fly. on the ground, I'm assuming Pujol is relating this information to us. Pujol, yes. are you relating yes. this? Yes, I am. So yeah. if, he said, if he said, if the one tree said it was on the ground and the other tree said it fly, can we search the grounds for tracks heading towards the west and see if there were any tracks? Nature people? Any tracks. That, that one tree doesn't seem very observant, but... No, <laughs> I am blowing off that tree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nature people should um, look for tracks. Look sure. at the way to the, the house was constructed. You see how the joint is perfect there. Oh my god. Get out your rifle. <laughs> yeah. Maybe someday you'll become an outhouse. Oh, I could only dream. Who wants to um, be an outhouse? I could now, be cured now. in a field. <laughs> Maybe you should Do translate you know? for, for Kay her door experience. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> 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 Do you, any any you other questions that I should there. ask these trees before I dismiss them? You guys think what's of their me names? Like? Jim and Sandra. What are your names? If they could be <laughs> any tree. What kind of tree would they be? Names. <laughs> well, no one has named us. What are our names? What What hmm. is my name? Usually, no, you better give him a name. An existential crisis. No, just let him contemplate mm. that, and let's get out of here. <laughs> God, they'll spend the next hundred years wondering what their name is. Yep. Oh, oh well. We'll come back and tell them their names. Poor one will trees. be liar. One will be liar, Usual and one the, will be right. Usual the tree torturer. Well, I'm going to give them instructions to be okay. vigilant and watch for the snake. Um, bat bird thing that flies let like me know a bat. See it again. Yes, I will watch oh, the oh, skies, oh. the pasture, the fields. Well, I'll make sure it doesn't hurt this beautiful building here. Yeah, tell that one tree that it could damage the outhouse, so it better be more observant next time. That's right. It will not damage this house. It's a lovely thing. It's a love shack. <laughs> that is not a love shack. <laughs> Okay, I think we've milked we've milked these trees sufficiently. Oh, my. <laughs> They're not maple back. trees. <laughs> so many, so many. Okay, let's. What is um it, the 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 cow owner guy? What's his name? Yeah. Uh, Bill. Bill, my friend. <laughs> um, the the trees have informed me. Don't laugh. That the <laughs> the perpetrator of this vile he cow deed hard. perhaps fled to the west. What's to the west of us? Well, that is Old Town to the west. It is. And people live there. No, no one lives are there. Are there, there? There are certainly oh. the 
It is said that the dead live there now, but the dead. Uh, I'm ready. We, Let's we go. Are, we are close to town. We are close to population. Many of adventurers have been there and cleaned it out. Uh, there's no dead there. There is no anything there. Hmm. Are there caverns or, or mountains on the other side of Old Town? There are mountains to... Well, of course, the mountains that, that uh, come from the lakes, the, the, the sisters, um, and then uh, are not too far. And then uh, there is a, uh, a desert, it's called, farther to the west. Yes. I don't think we're going to get the front half of your cow back, Bill. <laughs> well, I don't want them to take Certainly any other cows. Well, I'll... we're going to try to stop them from taking any other cows, but I think this one you're going to have to write has, off as a loss. Has Bill, has this happened before? Never before in all my years farming here. How, how, long, hmm. how long have you lived here? Because the tree said it happened before this house was built once before well my 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 father built the house and that was uh 30 years ago i was a young i was born here i'd consider cutting those trees down and building a barn something with a roof and putting your cows in that barn mm. are there um we, we think the attack came from the sky so you, you know you don't out. want to happen again Understood. Uh, Fathom, what were you saying? Are there dragons that like hibernate or only um, marauding periodically or something? Oh, that's interesting. I mean, dragons are territorial. They establish new territories. You know little about them, to be honest. Most people know little about them. Uh, unless yeah, they let's go them. find out more. But uh, they, they, you don't, you don't believe, you, your understanding is that they just, crave treasure and that sates their hunger that they don't have to eat or sleep or but they might i mean they're they're very mythical creatures yeah. why does why would nobody they eat a cow live once every 30 years why does nobody live in the old city anymore uh, for the uh i don't know it's um it's told to us when you're young how how it failed, how the dead rose there, but they were they were uh, uh, put. I guess the the rise of the dead would were put asunder by heroes long ago. But um, if it was told to you in the manner of a fable, what's what's the moral of the story of Old Town? What are you what were you supposed to get on that as a kid? Oh. Well, uh, uh, th that simply that failure is a way to learn, and you can start anew uh, from 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 the topplings of empires and great construction. You can still build communities, towns. Uh, it failed as a settlement for whatever reason, for where they built it, or or whatever failed. But but we have still thrived. We moved our location. And, and uh, Breakwater is a thriving community. I, I, that's always been what we've learned from it. You're an astute man. You're an astute man, Bill. You, you must spend a lot of time in that outhouse just thinking about stuff. Because that was very insightful. <laughs> I admit to thinking some in the outhouse, yes. Uh, so <clears throat> are we going to help Bill with his, his blue uh, lizard bird problem yes. or yes i got a i got a new bow i gotta test out let's go find this yeah and a rifle that we need to use up <laughs> no i do think we should wait until morning to go rather than maybe go tromping through the ruins in the dark yeah i'm with Kay. i think we should go back to find us a so an inn and see if we can't suss out how to turn this orb over as our primary task mm. and then um follow up with the bird snake cow snatcher in the daytime <laughs> so bill does I, say i thought the orb was after a ocean or a, after a ride on the boat i 
No, we were Maybe supposed I've... to hand it over somewhere near this port town. Yep. So okay. I'm trying to get okay. it on yeah. where. So I want to check before we go back because it pointed it roughly in this direction the last time I checked. So. I yeah, we have to return to, to Old Town. That's here. that's where the that's where the Dragon Lich lives. <laughs> yeah, if it, if it points at the Dragon Lich, we'll we'll save that for later. <laughs> um, it, it doesn't eat cows. It just doesn't like kill, cows. We could just kill two like birds cows. with one orb. <laughs> yep. Two blur, two lizard flying birds, cow eating <laughs> birds with one orb. All right, let's yeah. go regroup at the inn and then take off in the morning because I we're think we're going to have to go confront this thing. Yes. So Bill check does say, "Oh, you you could stay in my home if you wish. That's save you the price of an inn." Um, you're welcome. That's I can make true. you a meal. Uh, I, I, I have uh, wonderful food. I, I could certainly cook up the hindquarters. Of We've heard good house. things about the outhouse, too. So I was wondering if we Perfect. could use that. Oh, let's do that. I think he looks I think, strange uh, for a moment. Well, wants some fresh beef. Wait, what? He looks, what? he looks strange? Well, I mean, when when you're recommend, when, when Corn Cobb said you heard good things about the outhouse, he didn't know how to take that. But. Um, <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. The trees told our gnome. Oh. Oh. Check your, <laughs> oh. Oh. Check your check your knife, Fathom. <laughs> Disregard <laughs> our drunken cleric. <laughs> yeah. he, he's been hitting the ale a little too hard today. I, I do yeah, have some ale. Uh, no no wonderful meads or anything, but I do have some ale. I just purchased it from the market. They have a, a sale going. It was good. What, You're what's luck. the deal with the ale stomach. merchant? Yeah, what's the deal with the ale merchant? Oh, he says well, he gives away free tastes. He does more than that. Only he, I, I have found over the years that he likes to get his patrons intoxicated so that he can raise the prices a bit and make them more valuable. Ah. People tend to spend a little more of... money. Their knots on their purse gets a little, get a little loose if they've had a bit too much to drink. Oh, okay. Well, let's uh, let's take him up on his hospitality, and uh... we're still going to set watches. I'm still not too sure this guy doesn't oh, take yeah. all of our stuff back. Always, okay. always set a watch. Well, on our way back, I'll and walk towards the chicks. back and the dagger. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you pull the dagger, it now more clearly points to the old town. Yeah. Oh, okay. Boy. That direction. So maybe there we go. Dragon. We're gonna have a second look at that orb when we get in somewhere private. Mm -hmm. okay. well, it could belong to a dragon or a Quetzalcoatl or something. Right, but will we will we get in trouble if we kill the thing we're supposed to turn this over to? <laughs> Probably not. No, I mean, why would a... you think that? I mean, history is filled with people bringing gifts and then killing the person, the recipients. I mean, it is history can. filled with stories where that turns out well for everyone. <laughs> sure. Maybe not. Okay, you, uh, you, you find that the meal is fine. They will. Uh, he, Bill, will cook the hindquarters of the cattle to everybody's liking. Um, mm. A rare, if that's the way <laughs> Gooseneck prefers it. <laughs> Exactly. I think that's the way Gooseneck prefers it. Mm -hmm. So He'll just no part of this already seemed cooked or n seared. N no part of it seemed cooked or seared. Okay. Um, I will say that. So he, you know, he he makes. I mean, it's a lot of meat. It's a good. It's still a good like thirty pounds, thirty or forty pounds of meat that's left. What are you guys <sighs> eating? <laughs> Beef. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he also, though, um, clearly he he has uh, somewhere because he's got a, a big stock of like mushrooms and berries and he's got a fresh berry pie. He serves up uh, like a dessert. He is the only one here, though. He, he wow. seems to so be a He has prospered farmer. since Old Town. But he's prospered all alone. That's weird. He, he has oh, prospered. poor guy. You don't even have a farm hand or anything to help you? No, no, I, I don't. Uh, but I get by. It's it's a lot to do by yourself, but it's um, it's, it's okay. 
Is there anything unusual about the interior of his house? Is it pretty much what I would expect from a farmer, a wealthy yeah. farmer? Yeah, everything seems pretty normal. It looks, what it does look is a little too big for a <laughs> single farmer, but he did say that his father built it. Um, did but, you have brothers and sisters? I, uh, alas, I was an only child, so I had none of those. Hmm. But, yeah, I think we're definitely setting watches. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm an only, Frank is an only child, and, uh, you should set watches around any of their homes. Okay, so, um, let's, uh, who's got, who's on first watch? What two people? We'll do three watches. So we have uh, Abran. Who else is on first watch? I can do any watch this time because I haven't used any spells. Okay, so. Abran and Pugil on first watch. Let's see. Well, I Nothing. don't sleep. So. It's very peaceful. Second watch, Gooseneck and... I'll take I'll second. Ah, wait, wait. No, okay. I already oh, see. Wait. We're going to take K. So Gooseneck okay. and K get second watch, which means uh, Fathom and Corn Cobb get third watch. So That's second, fine. Second watch. Um... Nothing unusual. Uh, you do know toads. Gooseneck and K, though, <laughs> you do find a wonderful preserved jam while you're watching. Oh. So you're boredom. ransacking his house while you're watching. That's good. good I mean, you, you, you happen to see it. Uh, mm, uh, however, um, Corn Cobb and Fathom, as you're watching, uh, you fathom your dagger. I don't know, depending on how you have it sheathed or where you have it sheathed. I don't know if Corn Cop would be privy to this information, but it clearly um, swivels and points for the first time on its own towards Old Town or towards that direction that everybody says Old Town is. If I saw it starting to do something, I would take it out so it could finish doing whatever it wants okay. to do. So Corn Cobb, you see her take it out, and it, it it moves around and almost pulls that way, as though whatever you're looking to drop it off just arrived. It's like Has it ever done that before? One other time it had done that before. Only once. It was... Um, uh, it was when you were actually... When, after, right after she first gave it to you, and it was directing you somewhere. It almost pulled out of your hand to get somewhere. It's the only so, other Fathom, thing. would this seem to indicate something at the point that we're going to, or does it is it indicating something is heading toward us? Do you know? I'm wondering if it just means that it got the message, like it got all the instructions. Like basically. everything's now in place. Yeah. Ready to go. Yes, but I do want to look out the window and make sure we don't see any blue flying bird lizards or anything. <laughs> you see no blue flying bird bat lizards. <laughs> okay. Remember, we're just going on the word to the trees of... there. Yeah, I'm not sure we're. Bobby, no, the full out moon. Uh, no, the out moon. Out. The moon is a. Let's see. I think. I mean, it's it was... almost dawn, probably, but. Yeah, I'm going to roll some dice to see where we are in the days. Uh, we would say it's a waning crescent. Well, that's, that's good. It's definitely better than a waxing crescent in terms <laughs> yeah. of omens. Uh, probably, yeah, right? All right, well... Uh, We'll eat some of the, the jam that they left us. Yeah, they left us any. So we we didn't leave you any jam. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that was Kay and Goosenecks. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, never mind. Then we'll look for you some more jam. You didn't find any jam. <laughs> okay. Well, unless something happens, I guess we'll just uh, get up in the morning. Okay. Yeah, nope. Nothing Jamless. else happens. You get up in the morning without your jammies. Um, and uh, Dagger still pointing the way. We have to eat plain bread because the guy can't find his jam for breakfast. Uh, well, there's still plenty of uh, beef that he makes with eggs. And he sort of mm. puts it together uh, in a, um, 
So there's beef mixed in with the eggs, like a scramble with some beef in it, Ooh. and some fresh vegetables. I like how this guy cooks. It's mm. uh, simple. One, he's got a very one-pot meal style, you can tell. So it's, it's one dish. It's not a bunch of things. And he's plenty to share it, though, with you. Hey, why do right. extra dishes yeah. if you don't have to? Hey, do you have any jam by any chance? <laughs> Uh, yes, I do have some preserves, right? Uh, and he goes up to reach and he goes, well, I had some preserves. No, I guess I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shane Goofman. Let's Light blue bat that lizard that likes to eat jam and beef. <laughs> jam? What jam? <laughs> yeah. They were really right, good so preserves. Should we, uh, should we go to Old Town now? Follow the okay. dagger. Follow the dagger. Let's, Follow let's the go to Old Town. Okay. Right, let's borrow a wagon. Think, uh, so we thank there. Bill for his hospitality and. Let's buy or borrow a wagon from Bill. What do you think? Do we need it? Why? What do we need the know. wagon for? Well, if the town Carry the corpse of the dragon back? back heads, I mean. Hmm. All right, never mind. We'll go on foot. No. Go on foot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm happy to go whichever way you wish to. I got short legs. I was hoping on riding. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, you could buy, we could always buy a goat. Yeah. Or have Poonie will summon an elk for you. Goats you could, nice. yeah, you could, I could, I could put you in Pugil's little uh, gnome carrier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like you could ride on the front. Mm -hmm. Justin, if you could. No, thank you. No, not yet. Never mind. <laughs> no, All right. You. So off you go. And you travel no. a bit. It is not a quick journey. It's probably three hours on the road. I should call it Fur Town. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Uh, they only had one oh. adjective, apparently, and that was old. Old was so, their adjective. We need, we need Pugil and uh, Kay to fly ahead and scout for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that won't arise, arise any suspicion. <laughs> we can't fly during the day. Yeah, uh, no harpist flying <laughs> through the air? <laughs> Well, that's a daily occurrence out here. Justin, could you take the spider cam? Bake the well, he's got no. illusions. He could make himself look like a, a oh wait a, a minute, like a bird, like that. That's wait, a what's up in old town? That's what they left. They're like, oh, let's pack up everything and leave, but we're going to leave our dead bodies in the gibbets. That's well, not good. You know, uh, you do get in as you approach old town. Uh, you can see it. You can you can see it up ahead. It is a lot of. It does look like it was established as a keep. Perhaps there was a bunch of stone buildings. Much are in ruin now. There's a lot of trees that have sprung up amongst them. They look uh, generations old, a couple to a few hundred years old. And yeah, you do see a gibbet up there that's probably been there for a hundred years. Mm. Um, but mm. perhaps so that guy's less. like dead, dead, right? Yeah, that guy's dead, dead. Um, the resurrection scroll wouldn't work. No, not really. I could try to turn him as you're coming into town. What you see as you come in uh, is uh, you've basically found what was the old market square. Uh, I ask, now I do want to ask how you're did uh, in all seriousness are you trying to fly in ahead in advance or are you just stealthing in how are you approaching this as you get closer because you do see the buildings from farther off perhaps even the only one that can fly them. during the day is the gnome right um, but uh, the other whoever, people can be sneaky during the day Yeah, I, I would like to be there sneaky are, there are two cloaks Okay, he's got the day cloak and the night cloak. Yeah, yeah. I can fly yeah. once a day. Or I can make you fly, Mr. Bold Flying uh -huh. Dwarf. 
I can't fly. <laughs> you believe you can fly? I'll be glad to grant you that privilege. Oh, Look, it's a flying otter pit. I let's wait until we need it. I, I don't think I don't feel like we need it. It's the middle okay. of the day when otters fly. fly. When otters fly. Okay. okay. Uh, so as yeah, you we approach... should probably go ahead, Chini. I was just going to say we should probably not just come tra traipsing in. We should approach cautiously and like could sneaky people scout? I'm mildly sneaky, but I'm not like super sneaky. Abran and uh, Kay. Uh, I'll, Abran I'll, and I'll Kay sneak are in. sneakers. I'll yeah, sneak sure. In. Okay. Roll your stealth checks, Abran and Kay. Uh, it is, mm, you know, it's enough of a, it's not quite dim light, Kay. So the cloak of the bat won't help, but elven kind would. Okay. 21 for me, Frank. Okay. I've got a 17 plus whatever the cloak does. Okay, so if it's the cloak of Elven Kind, it's an advantage, basically. So roll again, take the highest. Thank you, stealthing. Then it's 20. Okay. And what was yours again, Abran? 13 plus 8 is 21. Okay, so 20 and 21. Uh, so you're equally kind of stealthy coming in. You do see this skull skeleton hanging in this cage uh, on a tree as you come in. You've been there for a very long time. Suspiciously, perhaps, uh, you don't believe just from your normal passive insights and perceptions that a skull would have lasted as long and as old as this tree or gibbet are here. Although this is certainly decades old, it's probably not as old as the town. So it's not as though nobody ever comes here. Oh. Uh, cool. uh, you're guessing some Reveals? perhaps cruel and unusual things have been done here. Uh, at some there's, point. there's no signs or warning marks or anything like that? Nope, not at all. So you approach in and... Um, there is a central square. There are a lot of buildings around it, but they all look ruined, run down. Um, I don't know. It I saw this was. tree last week. Take it could be yeah. It, it is the, it's repurposed, Michael. Um, I don't know if Justin wants to take camera one or uh, there you go. Ooh, this is cool. That's a neat ruin. Like Here, what that. else? <laughs> Everything looks like a tree. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you, you guys are sneaking in here um, to what used to be the Central Market Square. Um, but now it's super creepy. Make. Actually, I've got the wrong sounds on. Let me go to uh, make perception checks though, uh, and you cannot give lower than your passive perception. 15 for me. Okay. That's my lowest. 19. Okay. Um, 15. Oh, that's a good point. I'm going to have to roll. Those numbers are close. 15, you didn't really notice anything. 19. Okay, you saw some movement in this ruined tower just as you approached while you were while perhaps Abran was looking away for a moment contemplating the uh, the gibbet there mm. um, it appears as though something moved inside of the ruin uh oh mm. did it look like a bat bird outhouse <laughs> dual outhouse Dual out Dual. I, I will gesture to Abrin that I Dual saw something holder. over there. Okay. Let's um let's continue to stealth. Okay. You wanna go forward and investigate a little bit more, Kay? Yeah. 
Oh, what do we got to lose? Feel? All right, how far ahead of the rest of your team do <laughs> you up. want to, up, to go? <laughs> ETL for can we see ETL. them? Can we see them going in? You can see them going in, but, but if you don't follow them, you're going about to lose sight we, of them as they push in. We need to follow a little bit, even yeah. if we have to be stealthy. We need to make yeah. sure I'm, that we're close. I'm going to try to be yeah. stealthy as we follow. Okay. Yep. All right. I will pull you all I also in. want to check on the dagger. Do we need to roll for stealth? Uh, yes. Roll for stealth. Although, to be really clear, the the, the stealthy... Are the ones in the? F These are the you know Abran and Kay are really making your real stealth rolls. I'd, uh, I'd like to stay at least within my my charge dis or my thirty foot run. Oh okay, I'll put I you mean, up there where. If where I can, what do you guys think? Way. I don't want to. Oops. Sorry. I don't want them well, to get the, too far out. We're, we're gonna we're gonna drag down their stealthing if we're too close. So. Right. That's why I'm hoping thirty feet's enough. I'm gonna be I mean, near I'll, fathom. I'll try to hide. Yeah, I'll try to hide as good as I can as we go. But okay, so fathom. Yeah, I did feel great. <laughs> as you're walking along, you pull out the dagger, and uh, it actually turns away behind you, as though you've walked huh. past the place. Like maybe it was the outskirts huh. of the old town. Maybe it was the was. gibbet guy. It could be the gibbet guy. I don't know. Uh, it's a good point. But it sort of turns back uh, as you're walking in. Um, and then, let's see, in the back. So this is the way I have the order. I have uh, Abran and Kay stealthing up front. I have uh, I have Corncob and Fathom sort of side by side stealthing in the middle. And then in the back, I have Pugil and Gooseneck. Sure. Okay. So yeah, you start approaching. Uh, go ahead and make stealth checks. Um, uh, n uh, I think only corn cob and uh, fathom at this point. Well, I rolled a one, so I rolled right. a sixteen. Uh, okay. Six Wait, total. sixteen. <laughs> Change your sixteen with my minus. If, if we think this is critical, I could do my my one short rest thing and add ten, or d ten. But it's still a one. Boy, that's up to you. Well, you have that your luck thing. stone too. Yes, with my luck stone, it's a five total. But I could add my boon of the patron. Dark one's own luck. I could add that. Can't tell you. All right, I'm gonna add it because, I mean, unless a one just makes you fail automatically. <laughs> a one does not make you fail automatically. It's okay, just hard. It is hard to come back from a one. What's your total? So we are in the middle of the day too. It's not like we're gonna. No. Oh. Um, thirteen is my total. Okay, thirteen. So uh, as you kind of approach, K. Abran, you're hunkered low. You're kind of pulling in. And then behind you, you hear <laughs> some sounds sort of kicking up a little bit. You hear a little bit of armor, maybe yeah. maybe a little bit of shuffling as someone pulls their dagger out to check what direction they're heading. <laughs> and ahead of you, the tower sort of expands and rising up in front of you. The tower stands. What well, is that? Well, I would. Some of the rubble oh, sort of that falls was fast. off of it. Boy, oh boy! Some Good thing the, we didn't sneak up on that thing because we would have been dead. Some of the rubble falls off of it. I, uh, Justin, I think perhaps camera one, maybe. There you go. Oh crap! Oh man! Some of the bricks of the tower sort of expand and sort of coming up from under the ground, stretching his wings is this giant blue dragon-like lizard who begins to look down at you. And I gotta be honest, that's where we have to end tonight, everyone. No! <laughs> oh! 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 let me out of the gnome carrier. Let me out of the gnome carrier. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Like <laughs> you can make us fly, buddy. <laughs> we we can't we can't go farther because I'm pretty sure this this dragon encounter, whether it's dialogue or you think combat, it's not just going to be a couple of rolls? Is that no, what you're saying? No, I don't think it's going to be a couple of rolls. We need to <laughs> make friends with him. I think, we're I think it's one shot, things. one kill from I the group Taki rifle. Well, there you go. That'll be handy. You can beg for our lives. Uh, so there were two <laughs> possible choices of dragons I was going to bring out, and uh, the the chat voted on uh, this sculpt. So, oh, well, Sandy, or who is the other one? Sandy. Jim Johnson. Sandy. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. All right. Yep. It could have been. It could have been. Just to be honest, oh. it could have been this, this. Oh. Oh. Good choice, chat. That one chat. was right here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one <laughs> is here. harder than the other. All right, so uh, that is where we have to end it for this evening because I know this will go long um, if we don't. So when we, <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this like this, but when we come back, it's pretty much start the encounter with a blue bat snake uh, cow chomping creature cliffhanger it's uh, uh, which is I don't think it even TPK. matters if it's a dragon or not um, alright so everyone thank you I'm going to give everyone a chance all the players to plug but before they do uh, to plug what they need to plug before they do I want to say thank you to Reaper Miniatures for making this possible thank you to Justin for being our technical director Thank you to Sirenscape for our background and ambient music for these sounds this evening. Um, and we were playing Dungeons and Dragons 5e. I'm going to start up with Bobby to uh, to plug anything they want and say good night. Actually, I don't need the luck anymore. Uh, I, I don't have anything particular to plug, so I would just like to say thank you to Frank and Justin and Miss Ann. Come back and... Um, uh, that was super duper fun. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm kind yeah. of miss, missing my shawm, but uh, this fabulous harp is a consolation. Although I'm going to have to re-sculpt my miniature now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I yeah. just, We're all going to have to do conversions. <laughs> just glue yeah. a harp on it, for Pete's sake. Just glue a harp on it. Yeah. Just glue I a got harp to his head. I've got That's... some blue tack. We can make this work. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget the wings. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> uh, Gene. Well, thank you, Frank. Thanks, uh, Justin. And uh, we missed Ann tonight. Uh, thanks to everybody out there watching. And I had I had a blast. That was that was fun for a uh, a bargaining shopping episode. And then uh, we end off with a nice uh, cliffhanger. So I'm looking forward to next next time. That'll be fun. <laughs> get to put all our new toys to the test i yeah i think so <laughs> yeah time. man that I mean, ring of water walking is gonna come in handy i can tell already <laughs> the swimming you can't beat the swimming ring in this case no can't beat the swimming <laughs> ring uh well i'm looking forward to seeing it uh, blast us with some kind of breath weapon so that'll be good um uh, i just want to say thanks again to everybody it's always fun it's fun to get together uh, the thing I got to plug, I suppose, is the Crow's Nest on Tuesday. And uh, we didn't have one last week. We were preparing the ground for a very special guest. And I'll let uh, Michael say who it is. All right. Wow, thanks for that Thank setup, Frank. Thank you so much for a great show. I got my magic bow. Um, and so I'm super excited. Now I get to use it for one show before I get eaten by the blue dragon. <laughs> and uh, thanks to Anne um, for just being Anne. I'm sure she had was involved in a lot of preparation of this terrain anyways. Mm -hmm. um, and might as well say thanks to Justin. I'm not really sure what he did. Um, but on Tuesday, we have our very special return guest, Rhonda Bender. Rhonda will be, we'll be, t we'll be talking about all kinds of stuff, but most importantly, Rhonda Bender is starting a new show that following Monday. Um, she's going to be owning Monday afternoons on the Twitch, um, talking about all things painting. So we're going to dig in and, and find out what's Rhonda going to be talking about on her show. We might yeah. get to do it. Mondays will be a good it. lead into the Crow show. I mean, you know, yeah, uh, we nice. might do a little deep dive with Rhonda and, and a piece or two of hers as well. So get ready, Rhonda. 
which leads okay. us to Ryan. Whatever you want, just let me know and I'll, yep. I'll prep stuff. I will. I will. <laughs> Here, ice giant, ice giant princess thing. <laughs> Frost giant. Uh, Frost giant thing. Yeah. <laughs> Rhonda. Um, thank you, everyone, for a great night. Um, and, and especially, right, because you had to kind of do double duty in Justin. I don't know who was doing what, but I know that it was more than usual. So thank you for that. And thank you. Was Johnny on the spot with that outhouse shot? I do. He was. Yeah. And thank you, Bobby, for Johnny on the spot. No pun intended. Sorry. And what did I get thanked for? For capping the penis jokes. For being the uh, penis joke hard on the call monitor. My pleasure. <laughs> I don't have wait, a problem. Wait a, way to gatekeep that police, one, Jackson. Yeah, yeah, way to gatekeep that all. one. Thanks for it. Hell. The, the what a fun sponge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's much. right. Yeah. Yeah, I will. And they are right. I will be doing a show starting May 24th, I want to say, is the Monday. Yeah, it's the, a Monday. Not the first Monday, Monday it's a twenty so, something in May. Yeah. Yes. Um, Matt, may I ask a question before we go? No. Well, we we have to talk to Jen. Of, let's do Jen, and oh, then oh, we'll oh, get that question. Sorry. I I apologize. Jen. Uh, thank you, everybody. Had a great time. I'm glad to be back after missing last time. Um, that's it. Okay. And uh, thank you, Bobby. What was your What was your? Uh, the dagger's not pointing at this blue lizard thing, is it? No, it's pointing backwards. I already okay. walked past it. Yeah. Tell us to go home. I say we go <laughs> home. <laughs> Run away. Probably just walk to talk to whatever that was first before doing this. But <laughs> let the elves let the elves uh, hold this off, and we'll go where the dagger's pointing. <laughs> all right all right well thank you everyone and uh do we have bye a bye. Raid, raid for tonight justin yes we do all right Ooh. we're gonna be raiding wobble all right wobble tremendous thanks everybody for watching we had a gym for yeah us. yeah <laughs> say hello good night everyone it's a wonderful Later, to Derek. have you here and uh, that was fun I'm such a, a blast nervous. yeah such i'm a lot I'm Wouldn't nervous. it be fun to get all those cool magic items and then just perish? I mean, that, that's that what I'm was, thinking. Uh, that, that was the pyramid scheme or whatever scheme it was Corn Cob uh, was suggesting, right? Yeah. 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 Jeez, this this dragon night, knows. Sheriff's this dragon knows Sheriff's. Sheriff's. Yeah. Sheriff's. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. Sheriff's yeah. dragon. League. Yeah. yeah. Sheriff's yeah. and the dragon. I've heard the story before. <laughs> wow. See you, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye.